morning to you. You blink and boom, it's Thursday. This is your Feel Good <laughs> Breakfast Show Express on S3. Morning, Strado. More, more. Lovely we to see Thursday you. We are Thursdaying today. We are Thursday today. It's amazing. I mean, this week literally flew by. I think it's been such a busy week for so many people out there. And it, it's a good thing, you know. Um, I'm going to start off this day by saying, you know, I know we always say we live for the weekends. We right? do. We do live for the weekends, but we shouldn't forget to just enjoy every single moment that the week has to offer as well. That's and that's what we're going to do. We're going to enjoy every single moment of this feel good morning. Good morning and very, very welcome to you at home. Lovely to have you. Well, it's not an ordinary Thursday. It's a tech and movie Thursday on your feel good breakfast show. And this morning we are gearing up to the release of Dungeons and Dragons. It's a board game that you may have seen the kids from Stranger <laughs> Things play. Well, they've got a movie of their own. <laughs> Graham just did some weird, excited move on the side there, man. Listen, You'll have I've, to repeat it. I've, I've, I've never played Dungeons and Dragons before. I know about it, but listen, I'm, I'm super excited to find out a little bit more. Then we also find out from our tech guru, Grant Hines, how to play the game and also the exciting Dungeons and Dragons tables that exist because oh. apparently there's a huge variation. Sounds good. And then also the premiere of the movie took place this week and we have the all red carpet looks debate to talk about. We have Rush Tush and Shiraz. They are here as the judges. So stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show and mm -hmm. let's hear what they have to think about let's it. Let's get this Thursday Feel Good Morning rolling, South Africa. Good morning, Graham. Do those moves again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't understand how excited I am. That was like a, an, an 80s excited dance. I um, absolutely love seeing you guys. Um, it is such a fantastic day to connect with you. Yes, because we are exploring all things Dungeons and Dragons around what looks like the most amazing movie. Yes, and having a lot of fun. But of course, we're going to be in the kitchen and we want you to challenge us today. So our culinary con conundrums from yesterday have inspired us. We want you to give us three ingredients today and we'll make a recipe out of them don't be ridiculous maybe be a little bit ridiculous but we'd love to hear from you this morning and if you've done it yourself we want to see the results 0634088863 you know that's the number to use if you want to drop us a voice note chat about anything including the day's major talking points you has got the news then i'll touch on the sport Thank you so much, Graham. You can see by that social media picture that I mean business with those three ingredients. That's for sure. Looking forward to your comments. All right, let's kick off this Thursday morning with your news headlines. Starting off with your national news, Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis has tabled what he says is a record near 11 billion rand infrastructure development budget for the city. It surpasses the 2010 World Cup spending. The mayor says the infrastructure spending will improve service delivery to poorer households. Residents have been given up until the 5th of April to comment on the draft budget. Budget. The city aims to cushion its residents from the 18.4% ESCOM tariff hikes due to due on the 1st of April. Residents will be charged about a percentage less at 17.6% with the city absorbing the shortfall. And Port St. John's Mayor Nombuzo Nombile Tingo says work started yesterday to build temporary structures for residents affected by the recent Eastern Cape floods. The floods claimed the lives of three people and caused damage to private and public infrastructure. While visiting Port St. John's a few days ago, President Ramaphosa assured people that a contractor would begin working on damages yesterday. The government activated a special intergovernmental committee on disaster management to provide support and relief to the communities affected by the floods. Making international news this morning, the stuffed body of the last male northern white rhino has been put on display in a Kenyan, a Kenyan museum. He was named Sudan and died age 45 in March 2018. He was put down after age-related complications worsened. The taxidermy was done in the Czech Republic and afterwards Sudan was displayed in Prague's National Museum in 2021. Only two northern white rhinos are alive today, his daughter and granddaughter. Conservationists have harvested eggs from the females and hope to use in vitro fertilization to save the species from extinction. And Italy's right-wing government has backed a bill that would ban laboratory-produced meat and other synth synthetic foods, highlighting Italian food heritage and health protection. If the proposals go through, breaking the ban would attract fines of up to 60,000 euros. Francesco Lola Brigida, who runs the rebranded Ministry of Agriculture, spoke of the importance of Italy's food tradition. The farmers' lobby praised the move, but it was a blow for some animal welfare groups which have highlighted lab-made meat as a solution to issues including protecting the environment from carbon emissions. And then 
Two foremost South Africans have been honored by the University of Cape Town and Rhodes University. South Africa's Chief Justice, uh, Chief Justice Judge Raymond Zondo has been awarded an honorary doctorate of law by Rhodes and UCT has awarded an honorary doctorate in humanities and health sciences to the last living speaker of the language, Katrina Isau. Zondo described it as a true honor to be recognized in this manner. The award was bestowed on him for his selfless leadership and work as the chairperson of the judicial inquiry into allegations of state capture. The commendation read, and I quote, special recognition for one deed the leader marked for his dedication to ethical leadership and fighting injustice. And Katrina Essar was praised for her dedication to the Nkuru language and her work to protect the endangered culture of the SAM. She has dedicated herself to the mammoth task of teaching an oral language, both indeed, I think, worthy recipients of these exceptional honors. And with that uh, feel good story, we leave your news headlines for now. We'll be back with another update at 7 o'clock. Right now, here's your first look at your sports for your Thursday morning with Graham. Thank you so much, Ewan. Let's start with uh, football. And I suppose a real mark of this incredible footballing era, former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson and ex-Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger have been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. I can hear the che cheers and the boos in equal measure. <laughs> Ferguson is obviously the most successful manager in Premier League history with an incredible 13 titles and Wenger won three league titles during his 22-year spell in charge of the Gunners and what a Gunners team he had under him. And the Frenchman led Arsenal's invincibles to an unbeaten league winning season in 2003 and 2004 and then Ferguson and Wenger are the first two managers to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and certainly worthy of that. Now on the flip side of that footballing corn, FIFA have extended bans imposed on past and present Juventus officials to apply worldwide with Tottenham Hotspur's current managing director of football, Fabio uh, Paratici, uh, among the individuals affected by this move. Now in January, Juve were deducted 15 points for the season by an Italian football court investigating the club's transfer dealings and finances. The court also imposed bans from holding office in Italian football on a number of the club's officials, and these included a 30-month ban for former sports director Paratici, who joined back uh, Tottenham Hotspur back in 2021, following an 11-year stint at Juventus. Then on to accolades in rugby this time, and again thoroughly deserved, French captain Antoine Dupont has been named the Six Nations Player of the Championship for a third time. The scrum off claimed 26% of the 138,000 online votes after also clinching the award last year and in 2020. La Bleu finished second on the table, losing just once to eventual Grand Slam winners Ireland as they failed to defend their title. Only ex-Ireland centre Brian O'Driscoll has uh, won the award three times, but as I said, certainly warranted in that case. Then we move on to MotoGP, a little bit of spice after the weekend. Honda have filed an appeal over the amendment of a penalty issued to Marc Marquez after a crash with Miguel Oliveira in the season opening MotoGP race in Portugal. So Oliveira was in second place in the opening stages when Marquez locked up and then barged straight into Oliveira as both then crashed out of the race. Marquez apologized and accepted a double long lap penalty for next weekend's race in Argentina. The six-time champion was then ruled out of the second round in Argentina due to a hand fracture. But MotoGP saying it would carry forward his penalty to the next race as he enters. To be quite honest, after his track record, surprising he's not riding with the broken hand. But that's where we leave our sporting headlines for this hour. It's a brand new day. Let's see what the weather has in store with Zozo. Thank you, Graham. And we start off with some international news. The world's top court will, for the first time, advise on countries' legal obligation to fight climate change following a UN resolution yesterday. The International Court of Justice in The Hague will now prepare an advisory opinion that could be cited in climate court cases. The motion came from Vanuatu, a low-lying Pacific island nation facing peril from rising sea levels. The idea of the legal opinion was originally proposed by law students in Fiji and then taken up by Vanuatu, a country with bitter experience of the impact of rising temperatures. 
These experiences gave added weight to Vanuatu's UN resolution. Lawyers supporting the case believe this process is necessary as right now, under the Paris Climate Agreement, there is confusion about the country's legal responsibilities regarding the causes of global warming. The motion, sponsored by more than 130 countries, was greeted with cheers. And now bringing it back home, we head on over to Amanzim Toti, where Arthur sent through this fabulous violet-inspired photo. Look at that great sunrise, enjoying a cup of tea while at it. Then Fahima from Sydney, also showing off the purple tones in the sky. What beautiful fluffy clouds. What a stunning photo. Thank you for that. Then Andrew Harris in Belito is out and about enjoying the early breeze on his morning stroll. And last up, we have Louise G. Cheery from the Val Dam who sent in this dusky photo while walking around and exploring. Thank you for sharing your good morning view with us. If you have one to share, we would love to see it. Our number is 063. 408-8863. But let's get into today's temperatures. If you're in Polo Kwane, your low is 15, your high 27. Mbombela, 1825. If you're in Pretoria, 14 is your low, 27 your high. Johannesburg, 1223. Mahiking, 1428. If you're in Klerthor, 12 is your low, 29 your high. Kimberley, 926. Bloemfontein, 624. Rainy conditions in Richards Bay today, 619 with a high of 23. Peter Maritzburg 14 with a high of 19. Durban rainy conditions 19 is your low, 24 your high. Mtata 1023, East London 1322. If you're in Craddock, 6 is your low, 24 your high. Kabecha 13 with a high of 22. George 11 with a high of 20. Cape Town 14, 21. Worcester 8, 24. Sutherland 5 with a high of 20. And if you're in Uppington, 13 is your low. And 29 degrees Celsius, that is your high for today. Well, that's where I leave your weather. We'll have another update shortly after 7. Thank you very much, Zoe. All right, now that this Thursday is officially underway, we are looking forward to the rest. As you can see, we're gearing up with some epic recipes this morning. And also after the break, we delve into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, a brand new movie releasing, and we are looking at some very cool creative tables as well. Now listen, we have some challenges, presenter challenges galore this morning. We are gonna challenge them to a Super M challenge to make something absolutely spectacular in a brand new challenge, which we saw on TikTok. So uh, we're gonna give it a go and see how we do. But that and a whole lot more heading your way. We love you, South Africa. We'll see you just after this.
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3. Lovely to have you on this Thursday. We're excited because... We are. Listen, listen. Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I don't know much about Dungeons and Dragons. I know of it, but I don't know how to play it. Uh -huh. And we're going to teach you this morning. The guys are gearing up here. They're going to do something spectacular, but... First, we're going to take a look at Dungeons and Dragons, the movie releasing in cinemas tomorrow. Now, it is a story about a charming thief and a group of unlikely adv adventurers that undertake an epic heist to retrieve a lost relic. But things go haywire. Absolutely. Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Reggie Jean Page, and the brilliant Hugh Grant capture our attention in this latest film. So, let's meet the cast and their characters. The games have started. And get is the bard. The bard is sharp. We have a plan D and plan C failed. He's charming and likable. Oh, guy, I could kiss you. Try it. Olga is a barbarian, lives to fight foes and everyone else. Luckily, you can't make her angry. Because she's already angry. Simon is a sorcerer, master of magic. Perlumon Tergatis. Maybe I'm not saying it. Dorit is a druid, changes shapes on the outside, but stays the same on the inside. Zank is a paladin, a warrior so fierce, and he can afford to be polite. Jankly. Jankly to you as well, good sir. He's interesting. Forge is a rogue. Trust him once, shame on you. Keep her safe. You have my word. Trust him twice. I don't want to see you die, which is why I'm going to leave the room. Let's go! And then we have the Red Wizard. Powerful and ruthless. The last face you want to see. And now you are ready to go out and see Dungeons and Dragons honor among thieves. Oh, I got a good feeling about this. What creatures will you meet when you go see the new movie, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves? No, oh, that's not good. Will there be an owlbear? What is that again? The mashup that somehow pairs all of the terror with none of the cute from owls and bears. We're mimics, monsters that can pose as anything. Will there be a gelatinous cube that disarms its victims? How about a displacer beast? A predator with tentacles and cloaking abilities and... Well, I mean, isn't that more than enough? Or an intellect devourer. A giant brain that consumes other brains, like some kind of awful brain cannibal. The higher the intelligence of the prey, the more likely they are to strike. Oh, that's a little hurtful. Or even Themberjot, the red dragon who looks like he ate all the other dragons as appetizers. Ah! You'll just have to go see Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves to find out. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What? I mean, a an A-class oh, cast. Oh, man, and Hugh Grant. I love it. Look, I don't want to see you die. That's why I'm going to leave the room. You know, his, his <laughs> humour is just so incredible, and this really does look like a feast for the imagination. It definitely is. Well, listen, today is all about Dungeons & Dragons, so let's see what the game is all about. So now that we've seen this fantastical world, how do we put ourselves inside it? I hope you're up for this Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> is 
undoubtedly proven from my own experience the most immersive fantasy board game of all time and that's underselling it ripple effects into the gaming world on almost every level and nicholas von jarsfeld a prominent tiktoker and dungeons and dragons aficionado is here to show us how it works so first of all can we say thank you to the big bang theory for allowing the world to know that dungeons and dragons actually exists um, <laughs> um okay um, because it's a it's a gateway into a whole nother world if i can tell you the hours that i spent with my best mates in other worlds on other in other universes creating these characters that kind of helped me build my own psyche and i would fall back on that paladin when i needed to be brave i would fall back on that moment when we were heroic when i needed that feeling this is the most immersive game ever so well done to you for driving this my brother this is the coolest thing ever. Where do we <laughs> begin when immersing ourselves in this incredible world? What's the first step, do you reckon, guys? So that's actually a really great question. And I think to anyone who hasn't played Dungeons & Dragons before, I think the big trick is to not get overwhelmed. Because yeah. I know that people are seeing like what I've set up here. <laughs> this is like, advanced, how yeah. Do we... But, um, <laughs> you know, Dungeons & Dragons and technology has come such a long way that most of my gameplay experiences are all completely digital. I don't have, I don't even have yeah. physical yeah. dice. When we anymore. play, we play digitally. Yeah, like this, this is an expensive setup that yeah. took, you know, a decade and a half to put together. And it's not even all of what I have. It's all of what we could set up in the time <laughs> we had. But um, you can play an immersive experience as immersive is what you would have with all of these peripherals and, and accessories uh, completely online and for free. You know, and that's what we've been doing. I think we need to just delve into a little bit about you what is Dungeons & Dragons for people that don't know. Yes, uh, so <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons is an experience that's different for everybody. Yeah. Basically, it's, um, if I can be reductive about it, it's a game of collective pretend <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> with sure. rules, you know. So um, I think it's a way for people to, it's a tabletop role playing game primarily. Yeah. Uh, and it's not the only kind as well. There's other kinds like Pathfinder and Vampire the Masquerade, but this is the most popular one and for good reason as well. Yeah. It's been around for it's a couple like of decades. It's almost like what the Lord of the Rings was to fantasy. Yeah, pretty this much. This is to role playing kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, and it's also influenced a lot of uh, fantasy Talk media about. today. Um, so, I mean, we've got the new movie that's coming out, and I think everybody's going to be really... And it looks really good, scared. eh? <laughs> yeah, I think even if you're not into Dungeons & Dragons, it's going to be a good movie. It's a fantasy movie, um, and it's got Chris Pine, so that you know, can never really go wrong. So we need, we need a group. We need our, our, our team around us. We need that community. So where do we start in terms of we want a character, we want a realm to play in, we want a community to play with? I'm so glad you asked, Graham, because I <laughs> took the liberty of creating... Bring out Tome 1. <laughs> yeah, so I actually created a character for you. Oh, beautiful. The... Tell him his name. Tell him so, his name. Greyblade Rich Clipped. Nice. You are a devilish, devilishly handsome of wood elf rogue. Nice. You're welcome. I'm going to call myself uh, Chaotic Good. <laughs> yes, totally. It's the way to go. And uh, for you, Grant, I have given you your favourite. Yes. Your barbarian orc. Yes, actually, uh, this is a character that yeah. I play with, yes. Oh, really? Nice. Grunt. And his name is Grunt. Yes, Grunt. this is a character that I play with a, a bit lot. of smash and bash. I like it. Oh, no, he gets really into it. I was quite <laughs> taken aback. But you see, this is the joy about Dungeons & Dragons. These maps, did you design these, these particular campaigns? Uh, no, I just uh, spent a lot of money 3D printing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can, you can use the standard stuff, or you can also like, build your own worlds. Everything's up to the imagination of the people around at the exactly. table. And these character sheets are the defining rule set with which you play. So it's not completely unhinged. Yeah. You, um, so you've got these famous dice that everybody plays. Um, and you've got a bunch. I bought yeah. a bunch in here. You've got a bunch. And you've got a whole bunch of stats on your piece of paper for each of your characters. So I've got a, a dexterity plus one, which is terrible. And I know that you're a barbarian. I'm yeah. A bo yeah, I'm a barbarian. I guess Blunt I'm a little instrument. bit slow. Yeah. But I had this great moment in one of our campaigns that we were playing where, um, where somebody shot an arrow at me. Yeah. And this is the difference between video games and tabletop and our imagination. And I was like, hold up. What happens if I caught the arrow mid-flight? Yeah. So that's a game mechanic that you can't have in a video game. So I was like, I, I asked, as the dungeon master, Nick was the dungeon master, who, who actually runs the rules of the game, I said, I want to catch it mid-flight. And he was like, 
Let's do it. Roll so, it. so you roll for it, yeah. and then you like literally throw the dice, and you add up your stats. So my my dexterity uh, was one. It was a very low chance it was going to happen, and it happened. And I literally just stood up and cheered. I was losing my mind because I'd prevented myself from dying. And then I took the I took the arrow, and I oh, I didn't have a weapon because he knocked my weapon out of my hand. Yes, and I remember yeah, that. Yeah. And Not then I anymore. used his weapon against him, this this enemy. And I was like, it's like, you can't do that in a video game. I, I did exactly the same thing, rolling a twenty on a Vorpal blade to chop off a giant's head. I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> but I, I do have to interject because I don't want to lose my nerd cred here. So, uh, grabbing an arrow is actually a feat that's specific to monks, but I go by the rule of cool. So, because ah. it sounded great, I was like, that's fine, let's do that. <laughs> and it yeah. did, it worked really well. Um, you saved the party because you guys were like getting really beaten up. Um, and it was a great time. That's the nice thing about D&D. &D. It's whatever you want it to be. Yeah, there are guidelines and there are rules, but you can kind of just... It's your imagination. Pretty much. And it's yeah. also it's the click, because everyone plays a mm -hmm. critical role. And I think in a lot of gaming senses, if you look at the gaming teams that are doing so well, it's because everyone knows how they fit into that collective. But literally, the board is blank. You can take it anywhere. Stay with us. We're going to continue our deep dive into Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I did get it. It's my feel-good Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. This is Expresso right here on S3. Lovely to be hanging out with you now. When it comes to fitness for gamers, because it's all about gaming this morning, while the actual playing of games can be stimulating to the mind, it's not really conducive to physical activity. And it doesn't have to be that way, though. With all the loading screens and updates that can be part of games, why not use that time to get the blood pumping a little bit? So here to take us through the ideal workout for gamers is fitness trainer Paul Jordan. Put it there, Paul. How are you doing, bud? Good, good. Good to be back. Yeah, good to have you back, man. Okay, so we know it's you know stuff that we can do in between, yes, you know, just to yes. get so that blood flowing a little. Within bit. the next couple of minutes, I'm basically going to take you through stretches that you can be doing, mobility workouts, strength endurance, um, and just a proper like overall hit workout after that as well. Uh, okay, so I'm excited. Be body, body weight, body weight based. So. Yeah, well, you're in your living home. room or bedroom, you yes, know, most yes. often. So give yourself a couple of meters, though. Okay, hundred percent. Right. What right, do we do? First one, you're going to go into a lunge position. Let's not get, keep. Let's not have the knee on the ground. So you're okay. going to be here. This is going to be for the endurance part. Got it. Right, and then from here on forward, arm front, and you're just going to push back to get so that. Just rotate. Yeah. So you're going to be rotating that 90 degree, and then rotate back. 
Here we go. You can keep that for about a good 10 to 15 seconds and then there switch. In this position, your, your, your quads will obviously work I as well. I can feel that little shake setting yes. in. Yes. There we go. Keep that for a good three to six seconds. You can obviously perform this for about 15 seconds yeah. and then switch, just to keep that going. All right, then in this position, you're on the ground, leg forward, you're just gonna go rest all the way. You can obviously bring your knee up a little bit just to get that extra contraction yeah. and stretch in the hamstring. Otherwise, you can Feel straighten it up sure. and then keep that going for a good, mm. let's say 10 to 15 seconds. Let's switch. I can feel that stretch working already. I mean, it's cold this morning already. Yes. Muscles are working, but it's nice to get that blood flowing. Correct. All right, in this position, you can just go down into right. a squat position, a squat position, and then from your arm forward. Just onto the toes. Rest. Yes. All right, well, if you've just tuned in, some fitness for gamers this morning. It's all about Dungeons and Dragons. This is obviously light workouts just to warm up the body. That's it. I mean, you don't want to just get off the couch to start moving like right. crazy because you are going to In this position, yourself. once again, toes close to each other. Just go all the way down. Feel it in your hamstrings, feel it in your lower back Definitely. as well. And then all the way up. There we go. Again. All right. Let's go into a mountain climber position. All right. All right. From now on forward, just going to be there. Some plank walks. Yes, of course. Here we go. Very important with this one as well, uh, to keep the, the hip and the waist still as much as you can. Not to sway around too much, right? Correct. Let's target the front delts on the shoulders. In this position, just gonna keep one arm up. Up. Got it. There you go. You can also do this and get that extra little stretch and turn to the back. Here we go. Other side. There we go. Now there's a little bit more of a difficult one. All right. Especially for the lower back. All you're gonna do. Ah, <laughs> some Supermans. Yes. There we okay. go. After this, your entire body is probably gonna be warmed <laughs> up. All right. And from your on forward, let's start hitting the proper workout. All right. right. Now that we proper warm, now we can do a little bit of workout. Now okay. Can a little, do, a, do a little bit of workout. Uh, workout. Right, we're on forward, we're just gonna do mountain climbers, and there we go. And you would do this for time, though? Yes. Well, that screen like is loaded. 30 seconds. 10 seconds, and give yourself enough space, move forward, so push up, lean a little bit forward into a pike position, and again, mountain climbers, there we go. Nice. Again, push up, forward, pike position, there we go. Again. Love it. You can feel the heart racing already, blood pumping. There you go. Let's do one more. Push up, lean forward, and pie. There we go. All right, Paul, that's all we have time for right now. But I mean, those are my effective exercises and stretches really to get that the heart pumping. The entire body would be warm by now, so. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Paul, thank you very much, my friend. Always a pleasure Always having a you pleasure. on the set. So that's it for some fitness for gamers. While that screen is loading, while you are downloading something, definitely make sure you focus on your fitness and not only on the mind, because the two work hand in hand. Correct. Absolutely. There Stick around with your Feel Good Breakfast show this morning. It's a Thursday. All right, so we challenged you for a three ingredient recipe. We've got one to try right now. Fruits of the forest from Clover just added real cereal crunch. A symphony of fruit, oats, seeds, and granola crunch. <laughs> Fruits of the forest, real fruit, real cereal, real taste. Made with love by Clover. Now I know I say this all the time, but what if I told you again that your good mornings are about to become great mornings with just three ingredients that are gonna come together in the form of a cake, yes, a three ingredient cake. Okay, so we've got corn flour, ingredient one, eggs, and clover fruits of the forest. Boom. That's I, it. I didn't know it was possible. If it was this easy to make cakes, what have we been doing this for like the last 11 years on the show? Well, there are different complexities <laughs> and we are now keeping it as easy as possible. So you've said you've got your eggs. Uh -huh. You're gonna use about a cup and a half of your fruits of the forest. And what flavor are we going for today? We are using um, our granadilla. I absolutely love passion fruit. Ooh. It's my undoubtedly my favorite yogurt, yogurt flavor. Um, and this dairy snack, 
rocks. And yeah, I like the fact that you've still got the pips in. Okay, then I'm going to mix this. So it's about a cup and a half. And then I'm going to mix the wet. And then we're going to add... And then I can add the ingredients for you. Ingest. Well, you're going to... Uh, can I add it for you? There we go. You can start doing that. Brilliant. Um, really simple. And obviously, the corn flour here is playing the magical ingredient. You can see it starts to bind it literally immediately. Very, very good. And the flavor is going to be immense, and it really is that simple. And you can use, obviously, from your flavor preference, any of your favorite clover fruits of the forest dairy snacks. Um, and it's, I mean, you can push the boat out. There are so many that you know will work in this instance. I think the granadilla is ooh, amazing, but the fruity taste is exactly what you need. And of course, it's jam packed with nutrients. And I'm hoping, like, waiting for this to become more complicated, but that's it. That's it. That's exactly that's it. it. I think you can maybe scrape out more, of the, more the, of, the, of the the corn flour, but I've got a handy little trick on how you can get the lining in the baking tin. So, this is easy. a little bit of a life hack. <laughs> a little DIY hack. So, you take your baking paper, fold it into four. Beautiful. <laughs> put it over there where your, you know, like a clock. Point. Okay. We, we're going to three o'clock and six o'clock or nine o'clock and 12 o'clock. Okay, it's just a quarter of an hour. A quarter of an hour and then you cut along. Oh, wow. Obviously cut straight, well, along the edge. It's those fine motor skills. Beautiful, oh, that is so and then clever. when you open it up, boom, uh, it fits the inside so of pop it your in the bottom, tray. And then I think we can actually just do that. Three ingredients. Easy peasy. One recipe, one cake. The secret with this is you'll need to bake it for about 180 degrees for up to an hour. So okay. it's a nice slow bake and you'll be left with this beautiful cake. You can just finish it off with more fruits of the forest, some fresh fruit, and you are good to go. Do you want to give it a taste? I, I would absolutely love to, to give it a taste. Can I let you in on a secret? Yesterday, yes. I only ate for the entire day chocolate Easter eggs. That's oh. literally the only thing I ate yesterday. From the 12 that we had on the show, every shoot that we did involved more Easter eggs. I lived on chocolate yesterday. So I'm glad I'm <laughs> balancing it out with something. Balancing it out with some cake. <laughs> something healthy, like a cake. Look at that. It looks beautiful. It's almost That's got a like a tarty cake. vibe about it, but I like the fact that this is going to be quite dense. Oh, look at that cross section. Thank you. There you go. I'm going to steal your fork there. Absolutely amazing. It looks beautiful. And bearing in mind, hey, three ingredients. I'll try and get it with the get pop the of berry, the dairy. Get your dairy snack. Get the three ingredient cake. Mm. It must be very moist. It's beautiful. The texture is lovely. You must have it cooled. It almost has that kind of tarty vibe. It's fresh and it's got the most beautiful flavor that you have to taste for yourself. And if you want to do this yourself, this is how you do it. Wow, delicious.
Welcome back. We are having a lot of fun. Obviously, um, centered on the excitement around the Dungeons & Dragons film that is releasing across the world, we are delving into the game itself and we are finding out how it is so much more than just a board game for so many people. It's a lifestyle, it's a community, it's a family, and it is so much fun. And it brings people together around a virtual table in most cases, <laughs> yeah. and actually a real table with the coolest things. And that table can be designed to be extreme and really kid-friendly and fun. It is up to you. But we've got some pretty wild tables and things going on here. Can we make it practical for a second yeah. here and give people a window into uh, like the, the, the way this plays out? I think uh, in South Africa specifically, um, and Nick is going to probably elaborate on this as well, um, coming from Zim, there's a lot of misconceptions about Dungeons oh, & Dragons. For sure. yeah. Just completely, the, people don't really understand what this is about. And because when people don't understand something, they, they demonize it, it and yeah, they, they fear it. it. Yeah. But you can get games. I've got friends who have made campaigns for their kids and they have family time where they, for the last few years, from like five until 10, they've got this really family friendly, like Monsters Incorporated, yeah. um, like Pixar, like thing that they're doing. I do it with my son now as well, with ghosts, fun versions and of ghosts. And you can learn math as you do it. And there's, I know, I've got other friends problem who have- Problem solving for sure. Problem solving and math, because there's a lot of addition and, and, and math that you have to do with rolling the dice. But then also there's Agatha Christie murder mysteries that you can do like this. Really? Yeah, like things that don't even involve fantasy. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, bringing up the, the more therapeutic elements of D&D is very important because um, it's actually, it's been used quite frequently for um, children with autism to help them um, socialize with neurodevelop uh, neurodivergent socialization. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, if I think of my group of mates that we used to play with, we were misfits. We all came from different social sets. Some of them were unbelievably bright, so they had to wait for the rest of us to, to catch up <laughs> like very a real often. breakfast club. But I can't <laughs> imagine another context where we would have been felt able to be free and non-judgmental, and it became such a beautiful, exactly that therapy for us to just explore, do our thing. Yeah. When it got to the point that we needed to cut loose and just get out and get some air, we would do that, come back refreshed for the challenge at hand. Can we do this? Together we can. I love the fact that they're, I'm getting goosebumps remembering <laughs> the days, man. It's actually <laughs> Lots crazy. Lots of nostalgia. Yeah. It's crazy to me. So take us through an exchange now. Take us deep into the heart of, so as the dungeon master, what's your role? How do you kind of take us through an engagement or a moment? So um, I, I'm primarily a dungeon master or a forever DM, as they're called, because okay. we never get to play. You're the guy. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry, bro. No, it's fine. No, I like it. Here's, um, your, here's your dungeon master shield. So, yeah, we, we keep this in front of us so that the players can't see what's happening. And it's got, like, you can see it's got um, some basic some critical rules information that you, that you can yeah. take a look at. And I mean, you can, you can use these. You don't have to. I don't, because I play mostly online anyway. But, um, but the nice thing about this is that other people at the table are, will be surprised by what's going to be revealed. Bring things yeah. out. Yeah. 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 So I mean, the digital medium makes that a lot easier, but yes, exactly. Um, so I basically uh, get a campaign book. Um, I think I have one under here. There's a Stranger Things one over there. I know, that's, I, I don't even if we can open, go down this rabbit hole, but yeah. the Stranger Things obviously brought... The collaboration. Yeah, yep. there's, I think people understood what D&D is actually about through the show, so well done to Stranger Things as well. Look at all these bookmarks. Yeah. Oh, so Lord. basically, what the most important book is the, uh, the, oh, yes. the guidebook. So you kind of just need to have a basic idea of the rules that are in here. You can see I've got a very, you know, good understanding. Um, <laughs> and kind of just play with that. And it's all, the, the rules are, as they suggest, guidelines. You don't have to stick to anything as long as everyone's having fun. And then everyone gets their characters and their character sheets. You've got yours and yours. And uh, your characters will have strengths and weaknesses. Um, that are given numeric values, but you don't have to like maths. I personally hate maths with a passion, um, and I still have but a great time. But trust me, when, when the math starts to relating to surviving life or death situations, then, then you're like, hang yeah. on, maths is actually okay. Yeah. Maths has just helped me defeat a dragon. I'm okay with my maths. Exactly, yeah. and you, you, know, you choose what you want to do, and you roll dice according to the skill that you're trying to use to accomplish mm. that task, and then the dice will determine whether or not you do that, with advantages and disadvantages varying to your character's attributes. 
and you play through a story like that, and you can kind of do whatever you want. Can we do one moment where we are up against one dragon? Give okay. us that scenario. Okay. I'm going to take my um, character. This guy looks like, oh, you okay, know, he looks like an orc. Oh, he has orc. definitely a grey beige. There we go. Which left? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, in the lore, bronze dragons are. Oh no, I'm really having to remember. <laughs> <laughs> bronze dragons are. Uh, I want to say generally evil. I don't like to have like rigid moral structures around different characters, but let's say because no, that could be a nice surprise. I mm, think I think good, let's let's yeah. do something where okay, Graham just so to, to for the sake of time, Graham's character is launching like, an attack. Launching an attack. Right. Go for do, it. do we need to know how many squares away? Uh, let's say that you're 15 feet away. Okay. okay, okay. You're 15 feet away. So Graham, you're you're about to attack this bronze dragon. Um, it's first. like the moment that defines whether or not your party is going to survive this encounter, um, and you manage to save the neighboring village. What do you do? Um, I think I spot a moment of weakness in the dragon's neck. I'm going to go all in and see if I can get there quick enough and stab him in that soft spot. If you have a sword on your okay. sheet, I don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, roll. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, I've got a roll sword. a d20 with a strength modifier. So d20 is a die. The yeah. one that you're holding there is the d20. A 15. Plus the addition on your strength score. A plus five. one. A 16. Then, uh, oh wait, you're using a dagger, I think? Let's say you're using a sword, it'll be strength. So let's say that the armor class is 16. It's not, bronze dragons are very <laughs> I'll tough. Way much higher than but that. But let's say that it's very weak. That would be a successful hit. And yes, then you so you can, got it. Yeah, and I then you can it. roll for the damage, which you'll see what... An eight. Look, I didn't do that much damage, but But then, I, then the second player, like me, could come in and, in and go like, okay, maybe uh, yeah, I, he's knocked, me, knocked the dragon out for like two damage. Yeah. I could probably finish the dragon off. But you'll use a different die for your sword. And, and remember, he's a bit slow, so it's going to take a while for him to get there. We're going to continue to no, see how this no, situation plays out. Slow. I absolutely love it. I can feel my imagination <laughs> has already gone into another space. This might be just the thing you need to unplug and have a little bit of fun with your mates and, of course, let's get into more of this amazing world in the premiere of Dungeons & Dragons. It is here. We get delivered through a movie now as well. Oh, well, listen, we are going off the record because when it comes to fashion, I had to bring in the best of the best. Now, this past Sunday on the 26th of March, the stars of the movie Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves dusted off their Sunday best and hit the red carpet at the movie premiere in Los Angeles. Now, our question is, who dressed to impress and who should have rather stuck to their movie costume? Joining us this morning to judge if the looks were a success or a hot mess, we have wellness, women's coach and entrepreneur and all-round fashionista, Rush Tush, and entertainment and style influencer, Shiraz Reddy. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's been a while since we've been able to just judge people's looks, mm. right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've been very sophisticated, yeah. but now you are here with your paddles. Yes. You've got a hundred and a zero. So it it's comes a with a warning. It comes with a warning. Our touches of red is a warning. <laughs> and we may be nice. We may be a little naughty as well. Okay. Well, there's no in between based on those paddles in your hands. Should we jump straight into yes. it? Yes. Okay. Well, this one we love, Reggie, Reggie Jean Page. He was the love hero. Now, a lot of you might know him from the lead in Bridgerton as Simon, but he stepped <laughs> onto the red carpet in nude floral number by Love Hero, a sustainable fashion label from New York. Ooh. Mm. There's, mm. there's a few moments here where I'm just like, I'm not quite sure. The length of the pants, mm. those slippers, mm. I, I don't know. Are we not ready? Is it, is it new? Yeah. Thing? Also, the vest. What are we trying to do with the wife beater? Uh, the vest. I'm, I'm a little on the. I don't know. Uh, and I only had two options. Zero. I'm still trying to figure that what out. What is it? What's the I don't know. Pay? I almost want to say. Um, Ladies first. I'm going to say 100. Okay. You're because feeling sustainability. Mm. And he's taking risks. He's showing us something new. And a shout out to all the coloured uncles in their Bessie. Yes. Because that's what it's giving. <laughs> Representing. I'm like, I'm going to go like half. I don't know if that's an option. Someone else is going to scream at me. Pick a fence. Mm, oh, oh. Go, go Just because zero. I think that he could have done better. But I get the sustainability part. But unfortunately, it's a zero for me. It's a must be. Yeah. Okay, okay. It happens. <laughs> 
Oh, well, listen, let's move over to Hugh Grant. Now, he is a fan favorite, having played in some of our favorite movies. He's in Dungeons and Dragons and he plays Forge. Um, we're not going to go into the character things, but <laughs> let's just look at his look for this premiere. What do you think about um, Also, I don't know, that shirt, it's a bit frumpy at the bottom. It's definitely not Notting Hill. It's, it's the furthest thing from, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I'm straight I mean, up, no. is it special? No. no uh -uh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. There's nothing liquor about I th it. I think he looks like he's forced to come out tonight. Yeah. He'd rather be at home with his slippers. <laughs> and a and, comb over. Mm, mm. I, um, and it's, it's giving boring. It's giving... Like, oh, oh, I have to do yeah. this. Like, I, I have to go, so let me just iron a shirt myself. Mm. Mm. Like, I'm sure you can afford a stylist, but who am I? <laughs> okay, let's move over to the ladies. Michelle Rodriguez. Now, mm. we all know and love her um, as Letty in Fast and the Furious franchise. However, she stepped onto the Dungeons & Dragons red carpet in a black outfit by Jenny, the Italian-based fashion designer. What do you think of her look? Okay, so I feel that slit could have been higher. Agreed. Yeah. I think it's quite sexy. I Ooh. do love the neckline. I love that plunging cleavage. I think it's really cute. Mm. Um, I love a sequence moment on a black or red carpet, and I think that's quite cute. Mm. I would have done a different shoe, though. I was that, that is what I was going to say. Would you just yeah. a sandal? Like a, like a strappy? I would have done like an Amina Mawadi. I feel like the court, the court shoe is very 2010. Yes. It's um, aging her a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's aging yeah. her look. It's showing she's revealing her age. But then again, um, the perm has come back. Yes. And she's sporting the perm. And, and I love that. With a I'm bit of a fringe, mm. it's age appropriate, but it looks, she looks liquor. I love the shoulders out. So I'm going to yeah. say... Me too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We're both on the same yes. page. Cute. Shal Rodriguez gets 100%. Okay. We love that. Now let's move over to Chris Pine. Now he is the, from Star Trek to I'm Chris a fan Diaries. Of <laughs> Chris Pine, he has Ooh, dominated the big screen, of green. but did he impress on the red carpet? I mean, the salt and pepper is working for me Ooh. into the beard. Mm. I love that. Mm. I love that he's in that salt and pepper era. It is giving very 60s show, um, 50 shades of green, but I'm not going to judge too much. Um, but I mean, hey, if anyone's going to show a bit of chest, it's him. Mm. I'm going to say 100. Yeah. Okay. He looks like a tall drink of Hulk juice, which is my favorite juice ever. Green, green juice. Green juice. He's, mm -hmm. he, you know, he's looking healthy, he's looking vibrant, and he's giving me the look. Mm. Okay, mm. I'm also going to go with that just because I like the green juice. The so. <laughs> you know, I, it's like they, I don't know, maybe this just wasn't a big premiere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we know it's not. Any premiere is a premiere. But it's also okay if you borrowed a suit. I mean, some people, you know, have okay. to. Okay, my producer's <laughs> Look, look, <laughs> how, how many of these premiums do they actually do? So how exactly. many outfits do they need? Okay. But sure. again, like, all can afford a stylist. Why is it giving retail? But who am I? I'm okay. just sitting here. <laughs> it's giving you retail, listen, so that we can relate to it. <laughs> okay, let's move over to Sophia Lillies. Next up, she is, of course, oh. in this nude number. <laughs> what do you think? Um, Mary had a little lamb, that's all I can say. <laughs> It's giving me a little um, shaggy here at the bottom. I don't know. Shaggy? It's I don't know what's you going mean on with the that. Dog. Guys, it's also giving bathroom mat, but I'm not <laughs> gonna say anything. <laughs> Why Those are you shoes up though. With your no, I'm not. The <laughs> shoes, I feel like I feel like there was a sneaker brand not too long ago that did something similar. Was it meant it's to be a ballet Lego. pump? No, oh. Zoe, that is not a toe being pointed. That is that is giving I'm trying to balance. Yes, that my little pony. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm gonna keep quiet because I may just get into trouble. Okay, what are, what are your thoughts? Rush, rush. I'm gonna say 100. Okay. For, uh, you know, thinking out the box, uh, being brave, and yeah. Pretty brave. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like it when people don't care mm. and they do what makes them happy. So she looks, look how smiley she is, yeah. She's happy. And mm. she's about to do a little dance. I mean, I'm into it. <laughs> In I'm still trying entry. to figure out what's hanging at the back. It's a, it's a, like a little train. Oh, it's oh. like a train from the dress. <laughs> it's like a little tie at the back. <laughs> no. To go with a toilet mat, there's a toilet That's paper. Too, yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Bathroom look. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well. Thank you for joining us to look at these styles, whether it is a hit or a miss. And now we want to hear from you. Tell us who your favorite fashionista was, which were some of your favorites. Who do you think needs a stylist or a style intervention? You can let us know on our social media. We are at Expresso Show. 
This is nothing. This is just who we are. We date Italian. We try Italian. Living La Dolce Vita. And now you can see. That's what it is. Gotcha, gotcha. We're Italian. Perfect. That's why I was pizza. I'm an Italian. And we always eat Italian. Every day. Fetti ceremonies. Bravo to you. Unlock your 100% this Wednesday evening at 7.30 as we meet a young, inspiring female farmer who dreams of educating others and sharing her message of sustainability. Guys on the farm was just like, okay, you look like a farm Barbie right now. <laughs> That's farm Barbie. It's a real blessing when you find a worm in your soil. Oh, so well done. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> so cheers. Follow Thashni Manju on her journey to becoming a farming influencer. Let's unlock your 100% every Wednesday evening at 7.30 on SABC2. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso on S3. We have loads of fun still to come your way. Stay tuned, but let's quickly catch up with those morning headlines. Here's Ewan Stradle. Thank you very much, Zoe. 7 o'clock on your Thursday morning. Starting off with your national news headlines this morning. The Competition Commission has warned that food retailers will face prosecution at the Competition Tribunal should it find that pricing laws are being breached. This as the 2021-2022 Essential Food Pricing Monitoring Report has been released. The Commission has raised concerns over price increases of essential food items such as sunflower oil, bread and maize meal over a two-year period. Head of Communications Sipo Nguema says it affects largely the poor. And Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis has tabled what he says is a record near 11 billion rand infrastructure development budget for the city. It surpasses the 2010 World Cup spending. The mayor says the infrastructure spending will improve service delivery to poorer households. Residents have been given until the 5th of April to comment on the draft budget. The city aims to cushion its residents from the 18.4% ESCOM tariff hikes due on the 1st of April. Residents will be charged about a percentage less at 17.6% with the city absorbing the shortfall. 
Then making international news headlines this morning, the new Scottish leader Humza Yusuf has, in, has been inaugurated in Edinburgh during a ceremony that was a mixture of uh, formal tradition and his Pakistani origins. Yusuf is the first Muslim to head a democratic western state. He was elected to office on Monday after the previous Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon unexpectedly resigned in February. During his inauguration, he took an oath of allegiance to the King Charles. Yusuf had said earlier that he wished to replace the monarchy with a democratically elected head of state. And then the stuffed body of the last male northern white rhino has been put on display in a Kenyan museum. He was named Sudan and died age 45 in March 2018. He was put down after age-related complications worsened. The taxidermy was done in the Czech Republic and afterwards Sudan was displayed in Prague's National Museum in 2021. Only two northern white rhinos are alive today, his daughter and his granddaughter. Conservationists have harvested eggs from the females and hope to use in vitro fertilization to save the species from extinction. And then lastly, animal lovers the world over have long been perturbed about the fate of the many hippos at the notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar's estate in Colombia known as the cocaine hippos. This after Escobar, arguably the biggest cocaine smuggler in history, had surrendered to the authorities in the late 1970s. The billionaire then drug king acquired four hippos from Africa. The authorities allowed the animal to roam free and that was indeed a big mistake. In the years since, the hippos, three females and a male, have multiplied to more than a 130 and the aggressive territorial animals settle into Colombia's Magdalena River where they are now crowding the native animals and threatening people. Now what to do? That's the big question. Conserve or kill them? Fortunately, another solution was found. 60 are to be flown to the Greens Zoological Rescue and Rehabilitation Center in Gujarat, India, and the rest will go to the Ostok Sanctuary in Mexico. Ecuador, the Philippines, and Botswana are also lining up for future shipments. Indeed, I think wonderful news for Pablo's cocaine hippos. And with that story, we leave your news headlines for the 7 o'clock bulletin. We'll be back with a final update at 8. Bears, hippos, hey, crazy world we live in right now. Well, this is a mark of the world we live in right now, a golden era for football. Let's start with the story first. Former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson and one of his greatest rivals, ex-Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger, have both been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. So Ferguson is the most successful manager in Premier League history with a record 13 titles, many other accolades as well. And Wenger, of course, won three league titles during his 22-year spell at the helm of the Gunners. But, of course, the Frenchman led Arsenal's Invincibles to an unbeaten league-winning season in 2003 and 2004. And Ferguson and Wenger are the first two managers to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, and justifiably so. And on to the flip side of that footballing coin, FIFA have now extended bans imposed on past and present Juventus officials now to apply worldwide. In particular, with Tottenham Hotspur's current managing director of football, Fabio Paratici, among the individuals affected by the move. So in January, Juventus were deducted 15 points for that season by an Italian football court investigating the club's transfer dealings and finances. The court has now also imposed bans from holding office in Italian football on a number of the club's officials. Now, these included a 13-month ban for the former sports director, Paratici, who joined Tottenham back in 2021, following an 11-year stint at Juve. Then on to rugby, more accolades for an incredible player. French captain Antoine Dupont has been named the Six Nations Player of the Championship for a third time. The scrum off claimed 26% of the 138,000 online votes after also clinching the award last year and in 2020. Le Bleu finished second in the table this year, uh, playing brilliantly but lost just once to the eventual Grand Slam winners, Ireland, as they failed to defend that title. Only ex-Ireland centre Brian O'Driscoll has also won the award as many times. Then we move to two wheels now and a little bit of spice, nice and early in the MotoGP season. So Honda have now filed an appeal of the amendment of a penalty issued to Marc Marquez after that crash with Miguel Oliveira in the season opening MotoGP race in Portugal. So Oliveira was in second place in the opening stages when Marquez locked up and then barged straight into him as both then ended up crashing out of the race. 
Marquez did apologize and accepted a double long lap penalty for next weekend's race in Argentina. The six-time champion was then ruled out of the second round in Argentina due to a hand fracture, with MotoGP saying it would carry forward the penalty to the next race he enters. After seeing him race with two broken arms, surprising that he's not back out there, but we'll certainly watch that story as it evolves. Right now, hopefully, this story is evolving in the right way. It's traffic time. Zoe will hopefully get you to work safely. Thank you, Graham. Well, let's get you going. If you're in Delft, Cape Town, there are roadworks on the R300 southbound. It's after Hindle Road. The left lane is closed. Please approach with caution. Staying in Cape Town, in Belleville, there's a vehicle that's broken down on the N1 inbound. It's before Durban Road. The emergency lane is blocked. Please be careful when passing. Then in Durban, in Clarewood, there's been an accident on the M4 Southern Freeway heading towards Durban after the old airport. A vehicle has overturned. Please approach carefully um, if you are using that route this morning. Well, that's your traffic. Let's take another look at your weather. We start off with some international news. Recent heavy rain has sent a massive landslide crashing down on a small community in Ecuador, killing at least 12 people and leaving 67 still missing as of yesterday. Early on Monday, a large torrent of mud, rocks and other debris swept over the village of Alusi in Ecuador's Adin region, about 200 kilometers south of the capital. The landslide, estimated at nearly a kilometer long, plunged down the hilly terrain, burying dozens of homes, trees and other buildings and trapping many villagers. Area residents said they heard tremors on the mountain before the landslide, which was triggered by heavy downpours in the region over the past several days. Overall, about 500 people were impacted by the landslide, which also destroyed parts of the Pan American Highway. The deadly landslide comes a week after a magnitude 6.8 earthquake killed 16 people in southern Ecuador and northern Peru. Well, that is your international news. Moving it closer to home, where we look at your sunrise views, Louise in Germiston shared sparks of orange hues in the glowing sky. Then Hannes in Gordon's Bay shared this photo from his office, looking up at the wavy, the way, oh, in fact, look at those clouds in the sky. Then Crane in Warner Beach snapped this picture, perfect magical moment. What a great way to start off your day. And then we have uh, this video that was sent in from Prakesh, enjoying Durban's beach again, watching the surfers enjoy his morning surf between all the colorful tones, brightening up the sky. What a great way to start off the day. Well, if you have a sunrise view to share with us, we would love to see it. Our number is 063-408-8863. Well, let's get into today's temperatures. Starting off in Polokwane, your low is 15, your high 27. Mbombela, 18.25. Pretoria 1427, Johannesburg 12 with a high of 23, Mahiking 1428, Clarstor 1229, Kimberley 926, Bloemfontein 624. If you're in Richards Bay, rain can be expected. 19's your low, 23 your high. Peter Maritzburg 1419, Durban 19 with a high of 24, Mtata 1023, East London 1322. Craddock 624, Kabecha 13 with a high of 22. Some rain can be expected in George 11 with a high of 20. Cape Town 1421, Worcester 824. If you're in Sutherland, 5's your low, 20 your high, and Uppington 13 with a high of 29 degrees Celsius. Well, that's your weather for now. We'll have a final update shortly after 8. Thank you very much, Zoe. We're going to be taking a very quick break. Stick around with us here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning because we are going to be introducing you to our performer of the morning, this man right here, who's warmed up and ready to spice up this Thursday. Renz, how are you doing? Good this good. is Laz, our Sandman, <laughs> making sure that those vocals come through very nice and pure. We love it. Lucky to have you, my brother. Stick around. Then we're also going to be jumping into Hopville. Now, like I said a little bit earlier on this morning, we have a lot of presenter challenges. And this one, well, let's see how this one's going to go with myself. Graham and Chef Clem. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. Hey, what's that? This is Octifex, a new accessible platform to trade Forex on global markets. Cool. 
What's the forex? It's short for foreign exchange, trading currencies. Buy low, sell high. Score points, right? Exactly. What's leverage? It's like you got cool friends. They vouch for you, and you can trade it big. Precisely. So basically, it's an app where you learn and trade, and it's safe, and it looks good. That about sums it up here. Octifex. Trading made clear. Good morning, South Africa, and welcome <laughs> to Hopville! Yay. 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 <laughs> when in doubt, <laughs> chuckle it out. That's right, right? Uh -huh. That's exactly you what you are doing, 100%. And no special occasion would be the same without our favorite festive treat, chuckles. Yep. And today in Hopville, I'm going to be challenging our two Hopville citizens <laughs> to a chuckle of challenge. Oh, Phew. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how it's going to work is I'm going to give you 30 seconds to draw. Three images, okay? Oh, We're gonna goodness. have the crowd oh, then cheer for who they think best <laughs> represented oh, no. that image. No, I knew that. The loudest no. cheer gets the win. Okay. okay, but before we do, let me give you some inspiration. Okay. Can I just ask, why is Graham holding a baby Graham? Graham, why do you oh. have a cutout of yourself? It's just for you. So just to remind himself. Well, to distract me. <laughs> Rumor has it that if you ever spot Graham in public, you will actually find baby Graham in his back pocket. Yeah. Ah. We don't know what it's about, but we, we will have a segment about it next week. It's okay, just to so this, you, man. I'm going to give you the inspiration Thank that you. you need. Chuckles Thanks, have man. everything. These guys caught you. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about it. We have Chuckles, my favorite flavor, huh? hands down, the short cake Chuckles. Yeah, yeah, okay. I love it. What I love the most now oh. is they've taken the bag and they've also put it in a slab. Talking about slabs, you also got the malted puffs in the slabs. Clusters have been absolutely wow. taking over. Then we've got the coconut flavored chuckles. Nice. Wow. Those have been doing so well. You'll find them in the slab, you'll find them in the clusters, you'll find them in the balls. It's everywhere. Chuckles, all the time. Everywhere. 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 In your pockets yeah. right now. In your now, pocket next is. to baby Graham. <laughs> so here's the thing. Today's challenge, you will be playing for... All of them. The Hopful Golden Egg of Art! So now, let's just talk about... Just a very quick recap. How many eggs do you now have in your basket? 
Uh, three. He's got three golden three. eggs. Yeah. How many eggs do you and baby Graham have in your basket? Three. Minus what? three. <laughs> What is zero? <laughs> Today's your chance to get into the board. So let's okay. start off with this challenge. Now, really. I know. It's been a bad run. Okay, my season is going to turn around. It's going to turn well, around if, today. If okay. there yes. was ever a day that's going to turn <laughs> yes. around, it would probably be today. Because it has to be. <laughs> my drawing, let me just warn you guys, is non-existent. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really non-existent. We will be the we judge of that. See. Yeah, no. you okay. will. Okay, what so, are we drawing? What is Here's the... things. Hands on markers. You've got 30 seconds to draw a decorative Easter egg. Go. Okay. Decorative Easter egg. So I'm looking for clearly the shape of the egg and then some creativity with the patterns, the details. So I only have one color. You know what? It's not about color. It's about how you represent the shapes, textures with one color. That's the artistic challenge. Again, it needs to be recognized as not a funny face. <laughs> it needs to be recognized as an Easter egg. That the first thing you see screams Easter egg. Five, four, four three, two, two. One! Stop, stop, oh stop. Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, oh my gosh, on the end, Ewan Stradom, reveal your Easter egg. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I think you must. Why is Clem looking so confused? <laughs> It's an egg with ears. It's an egg with ears. Okay, <laughs> I, I do like that. Thank I you. I do it's like lovely. that. Oh, fuss. Oh, fuss. G, show them your egg. So it started out as an emoji egg, okay. And then you got to dump it. And then I was like, no, <laughs> then we've got to make it. It's a little chick coming out of the egg. Okay, oh. you can see his little legs, but now it starts to look like something terrifying that'll come to drag you away in the middle of the night. It is a little bit scary. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I actually, I actually now wish. I'm a <laughs> okay. Um, a little later, I'll ask, you, I'll ask Zoe and my wife <laughs> Megan just to come in to, to see their face. <laughs> their faces are like oh, what? Oh, but it's not up to me. Okay, let's hear it from the crowd. Let's hear it for Graham. Graham's egg. <laughs> Someone cried. I know, okay. Someone's gonna cry Let's in their sleep tonight. Let's do it for Ewan's egg. Yay! Okay. Ewan straight. Okay. Oh, Let's go no. straight. To, but wait, wait, we have to even. Okay, can we? Can we? Who's this? Okay. All the babies are coming in. Oh. We now have we now have baby Graham, baby Ewan, and oh, baby, baby Clem in the kitchen. Okay, let's go. I feel are, bad. Do I have to erase rub it? Rub it. Erase it. Oh. Erase it. Are we rubbing it up? Okay. While you're busy erasing, get ready to draw. Go back to the seventh level Easter, of hell. If you get from the an monster. An Easter bunny. An Easter bunny. Yes. Oh my god. Three, gosh. two, one, go. So Easter bunny. Clearly, we're looking for like. Firstly, I want to know that it's a bunny and not like a small cat, a small dog. Another Halloween character that Graham's <laughs> going to be drawing. It needs to be recognized as a bunny, and just any indication that it's specifically talking about Easter. Also, I would like to just uh, guide the contestants. Nothing too scary. We do have kids <laughs> watching, so just nothing too Everything scary. Everything I'm drawing okay. is terrifying. I don't know how to, Five, how to make it. Five, four, list. <laughs> three, two, two one. one. Stop! 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 You went straight. Them. Don't even stop. <laughs> Show them what you've uh, what you've drawn. <laughs> I want to see. It says, <laughs> it says, love you. Okay. It's not like that. It's a, it love says, you. It says, look at those teeth. Love it says, you. look at those teeth. Love you. What? Yo, come on, say Carrots. it with teeth. Say it with teeth. Love you. No, okay. Wow. Okay, let's look at Graham. <laughs> Graham. Sorry, you guys are safe. We'll scare him away. There we go. Hey. Oh, wow. Come on. Wow. Okay. Come on. Immediately into it. Immediately into it. Can I get it for? You wins, Bunny. Yeah. Can I get it for Graham's Bunny? Yeah. yeah. Well done, okay. little guy. One, 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 one. Let's go. Did it's no the one see the love you. It's the love you. It's the okay. way you sold it, Clem. It was <laughs> meant to be the love you. Mine's <laughs> just come back from Africa burn, I think. Yes, <laughs> clearly. He's I'm just a, had a jaw. I'm put myself over there. Okay, while you're busy raising, get ready for the next challenge. So, one of the citizens of Hopville is Peep. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, Peep is actually in front of you, Ewan. Oh, hello. Peep. Okay, he's a little tiny chicken. He's got bunny ears in him. This is the advanced challenge, okay? I want <sighs> to see Peep. I want to see the eggs. Is there another version? <laughs> you know what? Your interpretation of Peep. Whatever you think Peep should look like. Okay, I'm okay, ready, I'm ready. Let's go. So, three, two, one. South Africa has been quite a challenge this morning, and I'd like to thank you for bearing with us. You've seen some scary, horrific things this morning, but it's all in the name of fun. Um, um, I, I think that next week we should, uh, the whole theme of the show should be Art 101. Graham, Graham. Uh, okay, Ewan, looking good. 
okay, okay. Graham? Nine. Wow. Seven. Yes? Six, I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to... Four, three, two, one. There we go. Graham, Graham, show the mine people. Is, mine is quite demure. <laughs> she's, she's ready for a night out in the town. She's feeling quite chic Shoot. for her cheek, okay? I don't know what happened with the eyes. I try to make less intimidating, like, nightmarish eyes, and it came across a little saucy, okay? Ewan, <laughs> show us what you got. I'm not the individual to justify that. Come on, Monkey, do it, man. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Point for laughter. <laughs> Point for laughter. Yeah. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, first of all, let's have a look at what Peep looks like. OK, that's Peep over there. Now, let's start off with Graham. What do we think about Graham's Peep? <laughs> Not a peep. Not a peep. Let's hear it for you and peep. Yay! And officially, well done, buddy. officially, with four golden oh. eggs in his basket, and today oh, what is adding it gonna take, man? The golden egg of art. <laughs> the winner is you and straight off. I don't know. How do you if feel? This was an artistic, real art. Look, I just <sighs> drew what I saw. Like, I think that was the winning. But I mean, I drew this, what I felt. This was feeling. There's emotion in this drawing. That's for sure. Do you know why? Because she's looking at you. She's <laughs> looking at you. That's why she's, she's batting her little chicken eyelids. That was fun. That See was that. fun. Thank so, you very well much. Done, buddy. Also, as the winner, you and you get to tell all of you at home how they can win as well. Oh yes, of <laughs> course. Now, uh, look, if you would <sighs> love to have as much fun as we are happen to having, and if you don't want to miss out on this incredible one-day deal that we have mm -hmm. with Chuckles on Sunday the 2nd of April. W Rewards members save 25% when they buy any two Chuckles items from the Chuckles range available in bags, slabs and clusters like Chef Clem stated this morning. Now this deal is only available on Sunday the 2nd of uh, April at Woolworths in-store or on the line. Oh, 25%. As Chef Clem said. <laughs> As Chef Clem said. Yes, so listen, you, you stand a chance to win a thousand Rand Willie's gift card. Simply reply to the competition post on the Expresso Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages and tell us what is your favorite Chuckles treat. Now, there's so many, like you've seen this morning. <laughs> and also, don't forget to hashtag Willie's Easter. The competition closes at midnight on Sunday, the 2nd of April. T's and C's can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. Calm. Let's try and draw Clem. Oh, Let's try and draw Clem. Buddy, yeah. <laughs> I'll take the tapioca pudding. <laughs> I, I, I like tapioca pudding. You want to use it? I have a spoon. Oh, that smells delicious. Ooh. That doesn't look That doesn't so look nasty. good to have in a smoothie. <laughs> it smells delicious, though. It does. That, that's oh, gonna, I'm going to do I'm that. So
It is your feel-good breakfast show now, hailing from the south of Durban, the multi-talented performer from Authentic City Music Collective, who now has taken the liberty to release his first solo single. He hopes to write music that breaks barriers and boundaries while telling heartfelt stories of love and relationships that people can relate to. Let's give Renz a feel-good welcome here on your feel-good breakfast show. Can we get everyone to check? Thank you. Thank you. It's so incredible. So you just told me you were, we were in the same high school, but you yeah. were with my sisters yes, here. Yes, so that's correct. We, we hardly overlap, but yeah. that is wonderful. I mean, a multi-talented man yourself, Thank you've you. dubbed into some acting, yes. now into the music. How, give us a little background to your start or your foot into the door in this industry. So my foot in the door started off as most stories do in the church. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking it a bit more seriously as I grew older. And over the last few years, the last five or six years, I decided to start writing um, and performing, um, both on stage as well as screen. And now I'm deciding to actually put my voice out there. I think people have seen my acting abilities. I think it's time I share my music with them that I've been hiding for some time. You f do, you, do you feel like you've been hiding, or do you know that voice has always been there? You were just waiting for the right moment. I think I have been sitting back a little bit. Um, I love helping other people to shine, and I love seeing other people grow. Um, and so in that, in that time, in that space, I said, you know, it's now my time. Yeah. I've given everyone else a spotlight, now it's my time to take that spotlight, but not doing it alone. This time doing it with people that I love, Authentic City, which is the collective I'm a part of. And we started in, uh, during COVID, started writing, and we've been writing and making music ever since. Um, so yeah. And how do you find the writing process? Has it been pretty straightforward? Or has it been a bit of a, you know, it, it is a collective, you come together, you, you all put input into the songs, or is it a case of, yeah, I wrote this, what do you guys think? So it's a, it's a mixture of both. It's a bit of an amalgamation of both. Um, we've had moments where we've come together and said, guys, I've got this really cool song, um, and we kind of workshop it, but then there have been times where we sat together and we like said, listen, this is what we want to talk about, this is what we want to reach, and who we want to reach, and we put the music together. Um, the song's on my EP that I'll be releasing um, soon, uh, those are songs that I've written personally from journeys that I've been on and experiences that I've lived, so yeah. Oh, well listen, we can't wait to hear you perform. Let's quickly talk about your debut single. This one is Daliwami. Yabur! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <bo>. <laughs> <laughs> um, So Daliwami is a lovely story about that first time, you know. Everyone talks about love at first sight. I talk about dance at first sight, you know. I'm, I'm a shy guy, so normally times it's about dancing for me and um, I think it's about a song about that first time you see that beautiful rib across the room and you say, girl, I want to dance with you. I just oh. want to show you my tang tangs and do that. What it do, what it does, what it could be, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. So you're saying there's going to be some dancing later? Definitely. It's hard to imagine you being a shy person. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got Renz on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Don't go anywhere. He's got a performance coming shortly. Cannot wait for that performance. Thank you very much, Zoe. But like I've mentioned, yes, presenter challenges and guest challenges, that is what we're doing on this Thursday. Now, have you ever had that moment when you, when you can't decide what to have as a snack? I think we all have, right? Now, we have the answer for you, Super M. Now, you can enjoy it as it is in your coffee, uh, cereal, or even in a smoothie. Now, don't believe us? We're going to show you in the Use It, Give It, or Dump It challenge, inspired by Collins Key. Now, all right. So... Now, this is how it works. I'm going to invite Zoe in here. Rush Tush is with us Hi. as well. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome again. Um, here we have a lovely set of ingredients. Cool. And you cool. guys are challenged to make a smoothie in line with this use it, give it, or dump it kind of scenario. Okay. So we've got a bunch of ingredients. You can decide to use every single one of those ingredients. Mm. You can decide to, to kind of trade or give an ingredient to each other or not use an ingredient whatsoever. Okay. You got it. So we can basically make whatever we you want. You can make whatever you want, yeah. But you can decide in terms of the ingredients. Now okay. we've got a, bain, a, a bunch of different flavors from our Super M's here. Uh, I had a banana one this morning, it was lovely. Banana, um, vanilla. So, so this is gonna obviously form the base mm. of your smoothie. Yeah. So okay. I wanna ask you are, you, are you ready? Do you, I... do you have an idea? Where are you going to start? I'm looking at these ingredients. I don't know about you, but it's confusing. There's chili flakes, there's mm. turmeric, there's no. pineapple, which some 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 raspberries. So I don't know where to begin. Yeah. So 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 the taste will tell. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, ladies? Are I, you ready? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to count you down in five, okay. four, three, two, one. Let's go. How much time are you giving us? Yeah. What's happening? All right. 
I will give you because I know there's a lot. So I like frozen berries. How about how about how about two minutes? Okay. I'm just gonna lean over you, Zoe. Go Zoe for it. Go for it. We're ice. going for some ice. We want that. Rush is going for some chili. I like it. Yeah, spicy. I'm um, going all pink. <laughs> She's deciding how much I should I put in here. <laughs> I love strong things, and I'm not sure what other people do it. Okay. I love a chili chocolate Ooh. vibe. I don't know Classic. if you've ever had it Let's together. Together. Classic berries here for Zoe. Oh, we're going for the glitter. Oh. Edible glitter going in there. Oh, you, you're going to make the smoothie sparkle. We're going pink. And Rish's one is going to be on fire. Well, let's I, like, add I some see pineapple. the theme Just going like on there. Pineapple with, 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 with raspberries. Those okay. are winning combos. Raspberries, pineapples. And then I need some still water. Some still Sorry. water. I'll pass it to Thanks, you. Babe. There you go. Let's go for our strawberry flavored super egg. Okay, okay. You know, right from the get go, when I saw the chocolate and the chili, I thought that must go together. So you're on it. I like it. She's, she's, got, yes. she's, she's got the magic with when it comes to flavors. I'm going for look. Okay, so, so Rish, run us through. What, if, what do you have in there exactly? Um, so I've got a little bit of chili, uh, vanilla ice cream, still water, uh, the chocolate, because I'm such a chalky girl. Okay. Um, and yeah, uh, I think I'll put some banana in. Oh, okay, you think so? Ooh, okay, yeah. we got about 30 seconds left. Okay, let's get this going. Ooh. Oh, the machinery yeah. is working. It's working the really. smoothies are looking lacquer, though. We finished the ice, but that's okay. <laughs> I wonder if we can add... Do I have more And time? one. We got to We got to sure. dish up here. So now we can dish up. Pour it in. Let's see. Ooh, that looks lacquer. I love some good chocolate. Can I help you? Open you? that for me. Oh, Yeah, sorry. just uh, <laughs> get it all over. That, that good. But look, mine's slushy. I'm go I've gone for the slushy look. Okay. Oh. All right. So now, ladies... It comes down to the... T oh, okay, wait Can a minute. Can we just put finishing touches on? Fine, I will allow. Yes, yes, I will yes. allow. Disqualified. <laughs> no, we know disqualifying here. Zoe, please. I Thank can't you. lick my fingers, guys. I'm fasting, so now I'm just like... Oh, it will, will, will. Mm. Get you a cloth. All right, so I am stepping into the judge's position. Do you guys have a preference? Who should I do first? Um, Which one? Um, Good luck. <laughs> well, how about you try the... I, I'm assuming the chili? I've gone for more of a sweeter approach, so I think that's. Seems that like you're be... working with a plan here, Zoe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Ewan. Taste it. Okay, I will go with Rush's one. Okay, so just run us through again. So you got some, the chocolate Chili, super M. Chili, Chili, chocolate. Banana, ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, bana uh, banana. Yeah, that's it. And then some still water. Okay, yeah. simple. And some still water. It's healthy as well. Is it? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, okay. Can't fall out. I love it. I'm going to give a rating out of 10. Okay. I'm not really feeling that chili though. Oh, he wants oh. more chili. More okay. chili. Spicy but guys. it's a nice smooth, yeah. smooth one, yes. Um, I, I feel that the water is slightly diluted, yes. the Super yes. M a little yes. bit. Yes. Okay, wait a minute, one more. <laughs> He's a proper Ooh, judge. There's the chili. I am, yes. All right. And now for the bling bling one. It's pink, it's blingy, it's glittery, it's sparkly. Oh, there's the chili now. I can taste it. Good job. <laughs> I've just gone for some uh, pineapple. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's just the berries. <laughs> Where's the Lots strawberry? Of ice. And you didn't put honey in, hey? No, no I didn't. No I should have put honey in. <laughs> Is it too sour? It's a little bit sour. <laughs> but it looks nice. This round will go to Rush Dush. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. So <laughs> good, good. A for effort. <laughs> Thank <A> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so, look, it, it looks beautiful. It really does look beautiful. But like you can see, I mean, so much versatility when it comes to your Super M. I mean, you can use a flavor that you want. You can use it in all kinds of scenarios. Like I mentioned, coffees, cereals, even smoothies like that. Thank you very much, ladies. That was lovely. You. And congratulations. <laughs> Let me just uh, <clears throat> wash it on. Okay, he's going to have that one. It really wasn't that bad. It was just the berries that was our... It was just sour. sour. Yeah, don't be so sad. Hola, <laughs> Zanzi! <laughs> it's going to be a hot day in the big city. Super M. Gap filler. Made with love by Clover. Enough waiting. Move the coffee table. Let's move. It's time for Renz to perform his latest single. It's going to get you up on your feet. Here it is. Daliwami. Take it away, bro.
Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Let's go. I see you standing over there, tired of looking at your stare. Why don't you come on over here? I wanna get to know you. You ain't going nowhere, sir. <laughs> we got you for the whole morning. <laughs> I think we needed a close-up on your feet, man. The movement. Woo! I Thank absolutely you. love it, bro. You're going to have to kind of depart some of those foot skills with me as we go into our next ad break. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> performance is coming your way. Okay, break it down for you. So. That's foot one. Uh -huh. Second one. And out, 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 out. See you after the break. Let's go, let's go. This is nothing. This is just who we are. Alfredo. Alfred. We date Italian. So Florence. We try Italian. Living La Dolce Vita. And now you can see. That's what it is. Gotcha, gotcha. We're Italian. Perfect. That's why I was pizza. I'm an Italian. And we always eat Italian. Every day. Fetis and mornings. Bravo to you.
Welcome back. You're tuned in to your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on S3. Now, listen, Easter's around the corner. We are so excited about Easter weekend and all the special moments and memories to be made with our little ones. Now, Woolworths has the cutest styles to ensure your little ones can show off during the holidays. And here to get our kids Easter ready is stylist and blogger Megan Pedro. Megan, lovely to see you again. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this because, you know what, just dressing up your kids in the most cutest outfits, I mean, it's a win. It's awesome. I have two needs and I'm constantly shopping for them. So I've seen so many things on this rail that oh, I just think look. Woolies is killing it. Doing look, so I can't well. Well, run us through the, the kids Easter <laughs> clothing collection from Woolies because there's, it looks fantastic. I mean, so I had we, a look there and yeah. <laughs> I wish my, my kids were still like, like smaller. <laughs> I mean, we have brought almost the whole of Woolies here. You can see that we've really showed you quite a huge selection. So let's start with the babies, okay? So here we've got, oh, I mean, how cute. The prints are absolutely adorable. And what I absolutely love about these, they come in the matching little room. sets. Well, yeah, so that is so awesome. lovely. I mean, especially if you, you know, your kids are at that age where they're kind of wanting to visually dress themselves. Yes. It's quite nice that they would, you know, pair little things together, which is so cute. And then, of course, what we love is matching sets, right? Also, Willie's is doing, this is a two pack that it's coming with. Oh. So you don't even have to think about it, you get two in one, and the prints this are is, so cute. This is too cute. <laughs> Literally, too <laughs> cute, too right? Too cute. <laughs> then we've got a five pack. I mean, honestly, everything from prints to your planes. I love the color as well. To your stripes. Ooh. So it's kind of, you know, something really, really nice. It's not like, you know, the same kind of print yeah. throughout in different colors. I, I so, love the prints though. It looks beautiful. I do. And also they are so different and so cute. So we're absolutely loving that. And then polar fleece, it's getting cooler. Ooh. So this is always so nice and warm. And again, look at look how at sweet. That. that is so cute. I man. mean, this almost looks like the art you were creating. Yeah. yeah. Life <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> look at that. Okay. All right. And then, we go for a little bit of a, you know, sparkly moment. Okay. Once again, too cute. Too cute. I love it. Completely rouged at the waist. Ooh, so this is so nice for playtime. Yes, I, I love the sequence <laughs> like this because you can really zhuzh it up. <laughs> you can see it's entertainment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the Stop concentration me. Stop phase. Me. <laughs> Stop me. <laughs> the concentration phase is unreal. Okay. We've got your printed looks, which is so cute. I mean, this is literally, nice. can you imagine two little sisters like this? I can see Easter hunts happening. Oh. In these little dresses. <laughs> Completely, sure. absolutely adorable. And then we have the beautiful party oh. looks. Mm. And we've got a model to show this we off. We have a beautiful model. <laughs> so we come in. Hello, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, you look Taylor take a spin. Do you want to give us a spin? Woo! Now that's how you spin. I, I mean, a matching bag. little bag. That is for the Easter oh, hands. You can I'm even put sure. an Easter egg Let's in your a, bag. Put, a, put that Easter egg in here. You can go take it. Do you want to put it in your bag? Here we go. Put it in because you've just found it. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. How so cute, cute is this? Hey, And this little Aww. dress. You look so beautiful. I love that underneath the dress, you've also got a lining, so it's not scratchy. The yes. tulle is absolutely, you know, it gives that a chicness, soft. but it's so soft, exactly. Aww, Lovely. Thank, thank you, Taylor. Taylor. Thank you, Yay. Taylor. We can walk this way. Here we go. <laughs> oh, on the topic of kind of, you know, on the day, you've got your really beautiful Easter feast. Let's have the boys look, yeah, so. Yeah, we don't forget about the boys. Not well. at all. Bring in, come in here, Hamish. Hamish, come on in. Oh. Yes, How man. cool. <laughs> look at this, my friend. <laughs> Give me a fist bump. You look awesome. Yeah. I hey? mean, the baggy style wow. jeans. Wow. The classic white tee. And then you've got a really cool jacket over the top, right? Yeah. Like, that is just, that color. Yeah. Give us a quick spin there, Hamish. Let's do it, see. do it. Oh, Woo! wow, nice. wow, so, wow. So do you feel good in this outfit? Because you look fantastic, dude. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much for coming through, my Thank boy. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, That's yeah. very cool. <laughs> that is very, very cool. So we've transitioned from party into sleep. Okay, right? so now, now it's day, it's hunt, maybe nap party. Time. Yeah. So let's get into, I mean, Okay, let's get through this here. Absolutely sweet. Mm. So fluffy. Love, Love it. That. Very cool. And then I've got a sleep suit and a jumpsuit. Now, if I'm biased, oh, oh absolutely adorable. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Those are so, so cute. We've got a selection of There's really, so really beautiful. Yep, yep. There Sleepwear Woolies has you completely covered. And then, of course, into your gowns, not forgetting your accessories. So you've got matching slippers. Slippers, so earmuffs, 
everything that works, Woolies <laughs> has got you covered. Yep. Meg, thank you very much. Sure. Uh, thank you to our two beautiful models as well. They looked stunning, man. Go out <laughs> and sort out your little kids with the most amazing little outfits. You can shop online, in store, or on the app as well. Meg, thank you very much thank for taking you. us through. Ah, <laughs> Easter, just around the corner. <laughs>
What experience awaits guests when they visit the newly award-winning Sauvage restaurant that's headed by executive head chef Carl Norris? Our executive chef Carl Norris and his team uh, firmly believe in sustainable, honest local foods, showcasing the fresh seasonal ingredients that make up our upmarket dinner menu. And I think that in itself, together with the resort custodian Marinal and the rest of the team, they truly live up to one of our objectives and that is to proactively reimagine our future together. Well, if you are anything like me and you love a great getaway, well, you can soak up the sun, you can eat delicious food, drink yummy drinks, and of course, soak in these gorgeous views and just put your feet up and relax. Then this place is for you. Tough, man. I'm so uh, sorry. I'm so sorry that we had to put you through that. I didn't want to come back to work. It was so nice. I mean, what a beautiful hotel. What a great destination. And I mean, you How really... How many hints did you drop for a possible wedding <laughs> venue? I'm just we saying. We weren't engaged then. <laughs> <laughs> that might have had something to do with the, the seed being planted. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad you got to experience it. I've been there. It is amazing. And if you want to book... Just a sneaky little trip like this one to La Franchuk Hotel and Spa and live in luxury, just like Zozo did at great cost to herself. <laughs> um, perhaps book a little getaway that's a little closer to home because this really is on our doorstep. You can explore the entire Dream Hotels and Resorts catalogue at dreamresorts.co.za. That's right, and they've got a hotel in all of the best beach, bush, and beautiful spots around the country, so definitely go check it out. Tough life. <laughs> love is love is a new reality tv series which will be broadcast on sabc2 and we're looking for contestants you stand a chance of being featured on the show and are finding your love match you can enter online on our website loveislove.tv on instagram at loveislove underscore za or via facebook at loveislove.tv T's and C's apply and can be found on loveislove.tv. Entries close 31st March this year.
into a beautiful night's rest. Stand a chance of winning a double bed from the bed shop to the value of 5,000 Rand. To enter, comment on the competition post on the Clover Crush Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages and tell us how winning this prize will help you unlock your 100%. Make sure you include the hashtag crush in your answer. The competition closes on the 2nd of April at midnight. T's and C's apply. It's my feel good breakfast show. Yes, time flies when you're having fun. Can you believe it? We only have one hour left of your Feel Good Breakfast show. Renz is still here. He's got more performances coming your way, so don't go anywhere. Let's quickly catch up with those headlines. Here's Ewan. Thank you so much, Zoe. One minute before 8 o'clock, let's take a last look at your news headlines for your Thursday morning. Starting off with your national news, KwaZulu-Natal police have dismissed reports of arrests in the murders of hip-hop artists Kenan Forbes, popularly known as AKA and Tabelo Tibbs Motswane. Forbes and Motswane were gunned down in Florida Road, Durban last month. Police say unconfirmed reports around alleged arrests are misleading the public and could jeopardize ongoing investigations. They are appealing for space and time to investigate the matter without unwarranted scrutiny from armchair investigators, analysts and uh, faceless so-called sources who are claiming to be closer to the investigations. And the Competition Commission has warned that food retailers will face prosecution at the Competition Tribunal should it find that pricing laws are being breached. This as the 2021-2022 Essential Food Pricing Monitoring Report has been released. The Commission has raised concerns over price increases of essential food items such as sunflower oil, bread and maize meal over a two-year period. Head of Communications uh, Sipo Nguema says it affects largely the poor. They're making international news headlines this morning. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has arrived in Tanzania for a three-day official visit, the second stop of her three-nation tour of Africa. She will first meet President Samia Suluhu Hassan before going to the Tanzania Startup Association to speak to upcoming entrepreneurs. Expectations are very high among Tanzanians, especially in the business community, as they expect her visit to improve bilateral relations across the board. The U.S. and Tanzania enjoy a trading relationship that is valued at $4. $424 million a year. U.S. investment in Tanzania amounts to some $1 billion. And then the new Scottish leader, Humza Yusuf, has been inaugurated in Edinburgh during a ceremony that was a mixture of formal tradition and his Pakistani origins. Yusuf is the first Muslim to head a democratic Western state. He was elected to office on Monday after the previous Scottish First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, unexpectedly resigned in February. During his inauguration, he took an oath of allegiance to, the King, to King Charles. Yusuf had said earlier that he wished to replace the monarchy with a democratically elected head of state. And two former South Africans have been honoured by the University of Cape Town and Rhodes University. South Africa's Chief Justice Judge Raymond Zondo has been awarded an honorary doctorate of law by Rhodes. And UCT has awarded an honorary doctorate in humanities and health sciences to the last living speaker of the Gu language, Katrina Esau. Zondo described it as a true honor to be recognized in this manner. The award was bestowed on him for his selfless leadership and work as uh, the chairperson of the judicial inquiry into allegations of state capture. The accommodation read, and I quote, special recognition for one deemed a leader, marked for his dedication to ethical leadership and fighting injustice. Katrina Sa was uh, praised for her dedication to the Nkuru language and her work to protect the endangered culture of the San. She has dedicated herself to the mammoth task of teaching an oral language, both indeed worthy recipients of these exceptional honors. And that's where we leave your news headlines for your Thursday morning right now. I know the, the traffic is building out on the roads. Let's quickly take a last look with Graham. Thank you so much, Ewan. Let's get you to work safely and start in the mother city in Bosman's Dam. In fact, there is heavy congestion on the N7 southbound. That's the N1 inbound ramp. Um, we know a usual suspect there. Expect delays and allow for more travel time this morning, undoubtedly. Moving inland into KZN in Peter Maritzburg, there's been an accident on the Essenwood and Berea Road. So please try to use an alternative route if you can. And then staying in KZN, a bit of a public notice that you need to be aware of. There is is a ramp closure at Umlas Road interchange northbound direction due to congestion and it's effective from the 14th 
of April. And then Camperdown Interchange can be used as an alternative access to that R103. So please rejig your route if you can. Then moving to Middleburg in Pumalanga, there's been a truck accident on the N11 route. And that's south of Middleburg. Please try to use an alternative route and be safe out on the roads. Just look after each other. Right, let's get into the weather. For our final weather bulletin, we always like to bring you a global perspective. And the world's top court will now, for the first time, advise on countries' legal obligations to fight climate change. That's following a UN resolution yesterday. The International Court of Justice in The Hague will now prepare an advisory opinion that could be cited in climate court cases. It's quite a big step forward. Now, the motion came from Vanuatu, a low-lying Pacific island nation facing absolute peril from rising sea levels. And the idea for the legal opinion was originally proposed by law students in Fiji and then taken up, uh, taken up and further by Vanuatu, a country with bitter experience of the impacts of rising temperatures as we've seen in the news in recent years. Now these experiences gave added weight to Vanuatu's UN resolution and lawyers supporting the case believe this process is now necessary as right now under the Paris Climate Agreement there is a lot of confusion about countries legal responsibilities regarding the causes of global warming. So the motion sponsored by more than 130 countries was greeted with cheers and we are cheering that. Well, on that positive note, let's turn to some of your positive views and uh, sunrises that you get to experience every day and share with us and start with Roshni in Durban. Morning, Roshni. Showcasing streaks of pink glimmering up that beautiful sky. Thanks for that one. Suri in Rosebank, my old stomping ground, showcased some wispy clouds rolling in the sky between all the glorious pretty hues. Oh, lovely stuff. Then Temalik Mayers from Dauberg uh, was making a nice fresh cuppa this morning and saw this incredible yellow spark in the distance and had to share her uh, with her favorite breakfast show. And we really appreciate it. Then last up, Avaria shared a captivating sunrise from her apartment building, radiating oranges glowing up the horizon. Perfect, perfect way to start the day. Thank you so much. They really do brighten up our day in every way. Keep them coming. Share those views. 063-408-8863. All right, so let's see what the temperatures have in store in your neck of the woods today. Starting up north in Polokwane, 15 year low, going up to 27 degrees today. Mbombela, 60% chance of rain, where your low is 18, going up to 25. Pretoria, 14 and 27. Johannesburg, your low, 12, going up to 23. Slight chance of rain there as well, and some cloud cover. Mahikeng, you've also got a bit of a chance of rain, 14 year low, going up to 28 degrees. Klagstorp, 12 and 29, your range. Kimberley, 9 year low, going up to 26 degrees, Bloom 6 and 24, Richards Bay, moderates, I think the rain there, 65% of ch uh, chance of rain tempering the weather, 19 your low going up to 23, Peter Maritzburg 14 and 19, 80% chance of rain in Derb, so expect a bit of humidity with that 19 to 24 temperature range, um, Tanta your low 10 going up to 23, East London 13 is your low going up to 22, Craddock 6 degrees is where you kickstart your day going up to 24, Kabaka, 13, your low going up to 22. George, expect some rain today and a low of 11 going up to only 20 degrees. Cape Town, the mother city, 14 to 21. Moving to Worcester, your low 8 going up to 24. Maybe a sign of the shift in season. Sutherland, you kickstart your day on 5 going up to only 20 today. And Uppington, where are you, man? 13, your low, only 29 degrees as a maximum today. Well, enjoy the cool weather in your neck of the woods and, of course, keep those sunrise pictures coming. But that's what the weather looks like today. That's on the outside. On the inside, it's only getting brighter. Oh, and speaking of brighter, we've got great local artists and they are here and ready to perform for you, Rents being one of them. Now, we spoke earlier about... We mentioned the upcoming EP, yes. but let's talk a little bit more about it. It's titled My Forever Love, or To, to My, my Forever, forever. Love. So, yeah, My Forever. Um, basically, it's just an, an amalgamation of stories about a love journey. And we start off at the beginning, you know, when you first meet that person as well. And then we move on to, you know, that first engagement, the first interaction, the first romantic moment. And we end off with that final decision of saying, you know what, this is the person I want to be with and I love. I think I was inspired by a lot of my friends are now in that place where we're getting married yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, let's just come through with your boy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I just thought, you know what, let me put in music and, and speak into that, into that kind of thought process. Put it into the universe. Come Listen, on, I'm a big believer in putting things into the universe. Now, 
you're a local artist, yeah. you've got a lot of talent, we have got great artists that often come onto the show. Mm -hmm. Who would you love to collaborate with? Ooh, I definitely would love to. There's a guy from Joburg, um, Zadok, um, would be an amazing person to collaborate with, as well as guys like Nasty C, Teleman, would be great ones. Um, then also some of the legends, you know, like your Ernie Smith, Jimmy Juju's, I think Tali Wami was one of the songs that those two artists really inspired me with. And then some producers, I mean, Iran, of course, Cape Town's finest, um, and Dan Krull, obviously the boy doing electronic music, yeah. See, you put it into the universe. Well, Renz, we are ready for your next performance. And here he is with the song titled, The Honor. The stage is yours. Thank you. Lips like ruby, skin like satin on my pillow, pillow. No sound of your voice so sweet. Hoping one day our hearts will be, but until then I'll keep saying hello. Hello, so just take it slow, no need to rush, our hearts on in the chase. Take it slow, no need to change the pace. One day I'll have the honor of calling you, baby. One day I'll have the honor of calling you, baby. Yeah. For show that was an incredible performance you've got great vocals and I can see where the 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 church influences have come through it's absolutely <laughs> yeah, beautiful so well he's got another performance coming your way so don't go anywhere stay tuned to your feel-good breakfast show
It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, welcome back, your beauty. <laughs> Let's have some more fun, yeah. It has been that kind of show, and we are here for that. <laughs> yeah, on your feel good breakfast show, we like to go crazy. We're all about lifting your mood. Um, and I think one of our favorite ways to do that is with a little game. Now, we play games all the time, nonstop, and we love it. TikTok challenges have become a favorite social media platform, obviously, to have as much fun as we do. And we found the viral bottle challenge, and we just couldn't resist. This is why. Take a look. Anything was, was, I love you. I appreciate having this moment with you. No, oh, thank you. That's no, personal. No, no, thank you. <laughs> he is so competitive, but I'm I know, so I'm sorry. just gonna be here though. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> that was my point. So, Shiraz, you and okay, obviously, our two very worthy competitors, you get the vibe, you're gonna be swinging yeah. the bottle, okay? Stop putting on your ringmaster voice, Ruth. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's you don't doing understand. Edge fighting. You're karma for not being judgy enough earlier. <laughs> you should have been judgy. Um, but this is a lot of fun, okay? We have less, and there's not like time. brick or anything in there. Okay. Just a little bit of Super M, which we love anyway. So, you've got your face bras on. Oh my nice. gosh. It's giving padded bra. I love that. It is. Okay, it's wait, to protect your eyes. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to give Shiraz. So if you can reach for a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Am I there even? We go. There we go. And I'll come a little see, bit further I'm forward. Come a little bit further forward, a little bit further forward. Ooh, am I you're facing, you, am okay, I facing the right way? Yes, you're okay. facing the right way. Oh, this is horrible. Am I, am I pulling it you towards can, myself and letting go? Okay. It's up to you, buddy. You can throw it as hard Just as you want. Just tell me when you're going to let it go. Let him know. Okay. Or should you? Okay. And in three, two, one, go. You and I'm going. Ah! <laughs> okay, what now? <laughs> Is it coming back to Use me? Your blocks. There we go, okay. Ewan. I got it. Bit I got venom, it. Buddy. Okay, I'm coming for you. Okay. Whoa! It's I don't coming. know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's I'm, enough. Mommy. Oh yeah, I got it. Nice. Ewan. <laughs> Give it a bit oh. more venom, man. Give it a bit more venom. There it comes. I'm giving Matrix moves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I felt that. I felt that. You Come on. Matrix that yeah, I got it. This is you and you've got like the Jedi mind. Oh, no. What was in the I face? Yeah, I felt that. I felt that. I felt that. I felt that. I'm so sorry. Again, love okay, you. Okay, I'm Get your revenge, you, boy. Get your revenge. <laughs> what is that? I, mean, I got it. You've developed a new form of wing Oh, my nerves, guys. My nerves. Are we going? Shiraz, be quiet. <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, right. it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it is anymore. There it goes. Ah. Yeah, nice, a double-handed catch. One okay, last cool. I try, I Not try. Feet. And around, and around, and around, and around. Oh, that's great. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, keep going. Oh, ah. Ah. oh that's oh, brilliant. Done? Clearly, oh, you God. can take your face bras off. <laughs> Clearly, the force is strong with this one. I don't well want to see what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got post-traumatic <laughs> stress syndrome. Oh, we I love know. it. Guys, you've earned <laughs> yourself a beautiful Super M to recharge. You can choose what flavor, Shiraz. You've got banana, boy. vanilla, chocolate. I'll yes. go cream soda. Thank cream you soda. So wow, yes. that was quite revolutionary, my friend. It was. Oh, I like that. Uh, clearly, the boxing soft twitch movement is but still there. But it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. No, trust me, you came pretty close quite a few times. The force was strong with that one. We love it. While the kids are on holiday, these are fun, simple challenges that you can do with your kids and have a lot of fun. I wouldn't leave a full bottle, though. Maybe start with an empty <laughs> bottle or a bean bag. Um, but the most important thing, grab your Super M bottle, drink it empty, and then let the games Big begin. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, listen, all fun and games, but let's have some fun in the kitchen.
Now, finding that standout treat to include on your Easter table can sometimes be a bit of a difficult task, but lucky for you, we got an indulgent cranberry pie recipe that is guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser. Now, this is brought to you by Citro Soda as they help you to relieve the burn by bringing you this deliciousness. So, Strenum, we are in the kitchen. I'm going to put you to task you to can. make... But first, do I look okay? Like you look fine. Like fine. Is this Apron <clears throat> is on, you're good. Collar's good, okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we've got some melted butter or soft butter for you. Okay. We've got some icing sugar, an egg, as well as a bit of salt and your flour. It's you're gonna flour. mix all those ingredients together and you're gonna work on our dough okay. while I get our cranberry mixture going. So we've right. got some dried cranberries that I'm going to add to our pot, some sugar. And this is go. just to break down our cranberry mix. I'm adding some frozen cherries to this mixture as well. And this, we're just getting the heat to reduce and break down the skin. We're adding a bit of cranberry jam. So, Going all in with this mixture. Oh, I love frozen cherries. Mm. So nice, especially when it comes to a nice little sweet treat. Like oh, this one. It is a sweet okay, I'm treat. I'm going to swap over to different equipment. Go for it. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. We want to add a bit of our orange zest. Okay. And a bit of vanilla paste. And that's just going to reduce until we get our cranberry filling. Right. Okay, now for the flour. Get that in. Oh, you are so handy in the kitchen. Look at you go. I know, I know. So this is this is interesting. I've never heard. Well, you know what? Let's be honest. I've seen it, but I mean, I never understood it. Lattice hack. Oh no, I've That's never heard that, of that. That kind of plate thing oh. that you do to make it look fancy. We are going to be doing a challenge to see who can do it the best, though. But oh. I mean, I, I saw it. It was like, but. What is it? You know, it's like, what, lettuce the way, and pie? I don't know. And the then way I you saw, weave it. Yes, yes, weave it. That's the, that's that's the, the correct word. word. Oh, well, you know what? Indulging is always one of those things that I think a lot of us are guilty of. And you know that full, uncomfortable feeling in your stomach during or even after a big meal. Well, that's acid indigestion. And symptoms may include bloating, burping, nausea, and an acidic taste in your mouth. Now, one often experiences acid indigestion along with heartburn. Now, citrus soda can help relieve the discomfort for both. So there you go. I feel like I should get involved with my hands here. You can get involved with your hands. I think so, because I mean, it's just it's just easier. Hands are clean, just by the way. The hands are clean, get yes. in there, warm it up. There we Don't go. Don't overwork the dough because of the butter that's in there. Yes. But once we've got our dough, we've actually got a, we cheated. We did cheat, we've, yeah. We've got a ready-made um, pie <laughs> paste there for you. I made it earlier. <laughs> you made it earlier. So once this, well, the berry mixture that's in this pot and it's slowly reducing, oopsie, as you can see, it's spilt everywhere, but it's slowly reducing. And once that is cooled down and reduced fully, you have your cranberry filling that we're going to add to our pie. We've did a little bit of blind baking um, for our, our the base. We're going to add the filling. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it does. Look at this. The colors are just incredible. Adding it in. Nice. So this, what I'm making right here, is this, this is the base of that, the dough, or is this for that's the... That's for the top. Okay. The, well, for we the put top. the same at the bottom and at the top. Okay. Well, there we go. Look at that. Okay. And then what we've got is, I'm going to add the top to it. Nice. Like that. You're welcome to come and help me if you want to, and you can just finish <laughs> off the edges. I'm keeping busy on this side. <laughs> I'm loving this. And then we've got some here that has been rolled out for us into a rectangle, and this okay. is now where we cut our ribbons. Okay, I'm here. Can we just appreciate that I made this in like a second? You did. Like, you look did. at that. It is well done. Perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm busy with the ribbons here. You can, once I'm done with this knife, neaten up the edges for us. Okay. I feel like my ribbons aren't the perfect... Get it straight, Zoe. ...perfect thickness. But you try. <laughs> you try. That's all that matters. We try. As long as you try. Okay, okay. so let's get this going. Just neaten it up for us. Pop this over there. So this is just getting it... And then we're going to weave. 
Oh my goodness. I, should, I think I should leave it to you. I feel like this, some of them are very thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come, here we go. Now there's definitely an art to this. Yes. You'll need a lot more. Okay, so there we go. But see now. Okay, look, wait, I see something happening. Teamwork. Okay, go Lift for it. Lift this one for me. Lift this one, like so. Look at us. And then we need another one. So, so we there we go. This is confusing. <laughs> it takes a lot of brain power. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is why we're going to have a bit of a challenge later, just to see who can okay, do so this. Pop that one in let's there. Let's see. Let's just so. thin it out so that we can <laughs> get that going. Okay, so that goes, so that goes under. So this one goes under. Okay. So you're going to go under that, over. That under over. Over under. Under over over under. There we go. That's I'm how it goes. I'm going to leave you to finish that off. We'll brush it with some egg, and then you pop it into the oven, and you should be left with a beautiful golden dish. But this it's, is, you know, it's Easter winnings with the citrus soda, as they are giving you the chance to win a cash prize of 5,000 Rand. Now, simply reply to the competition posts on the Expresso Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page, and tell us what's your favorite treat over the Easter that you can't stop, won't stop eating. Don't forget to use that hashtag CitroSoda and hashtag Reach for Relief. The competition closes today, so get entering. The RTs and Cs that can be found on our website, as well as this recipe. It's available at expressoshow.com. We did good. Looks good. I think so. We just need to get the ribbons even. Well, yeah, I suppose so. That's good. why we're having a challenge. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. It's Easter winnings with Citro Soda, as they give you the chance to win a cash prize of 5,000 Rand. All you have to do is answer the weekly competition question on our Expresso Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages using hashtag Citro Soda and hashtag Reach for Relief. T's and C's apply. This is nothing. This is just who we are. Joe, Alfredo. Hi. Go, Alfredo. We date Italian. So Florence. We try Italian. Living La Dolce Vita. And now you can see. That's what it is. Gotcha, gotcha. We're Italian. Perfect. That's why I was pizza. I'm an Italian. And we always eat Italian. Every day. Fetti ceremonies. Bravo to you. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Oh.
well. The challenges are on fire today. You can see our foodie team coming to grips with the layering lattice challenge, which we'll take on in a moment. But we put it to you to challenge us for some nice three ingredient recipes this morning. We've made a couple of inspirational ones. So we want to hear from you guys. And we've got Lenique, I think, on the phone or on the line. Let's hear what she had to say. Hi, Expresso. My three ingredients for you, for you to make something sweet okay. would be chocolate, honey, and something sweet like ice cream. Whoa, chocolate, honey, ice cream, I'm there for days. I think my son and you share the same spirit animal. I love that. Let's hear what Elizabeth has to say. Good morning, Expresso. Good morning. Cup of flour. Flour. Uh, of a cup of Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt. a cup of cheese, shredded cheese. Oh, cheese, yogurt, flour. I'm thinking maybe some scones we could whip up. We made a three-ingredient cake a little bit earlier. Keep it coming. We'd love to hear from you. Challenge us. What three ingredients do you need to create something truly special? If it's amazing, we might just do it live on the show and maybe connect with you. 063-408-8863. That's the WhatsApp line to use. More culinary challenges coming your way. Yep. Challenge upon challenge. Now, before <laughs> the break, we made an indulgent cranberry pie using the lattice hack. Now, we are putting ourselves to the test to see if we can get that lattice pattern just right. Is it as hard or as easy as it looks? Uh, now, let's first have a, a quick look at what we found on TikTok to give us a little bit of guidance, because let's be honest, we all need it. Yeah. My brain just worked over time watching that. Was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to try it out. I still don't know exactly. We're going to try it out. <laughs> That's exactly Let's what's happening. Let's try it out. Okay, like Zoe, so... Me. I'm not... Uh, yeah, well, no. No, this is what you do. This is what one does <laughs> what when you work do. with dough. Okay. Okay, shall we, shall we go for it? Should we go? Is this a challenge or is this just to see who can do it? You know what? I feel, I feel this is just to see who can do it. Okay. All right. I I'm, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. I need some support. Structural support here. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. I like that one. Oh. oh my gosh, guys. Let's start in the middle. This is, you know, in principle, it, it looked easy ish. I know. Yes. Always looks easy, and then they get you. <laughs> and then they yeah. get you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Now. Where do I go from here? Two, three, four, five. Well, there were different ways. There were different tactics ways. Tactics on the video. That is correct. Okay, yes. so. Yes. So here we go. Uh -huh. And then. Okay, I, I, I made something. And now. Well done. So now you go. So I like the way they did it where. Uh -oh. <laughs> you said, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, stop it. Stay out of this. Do it like that, and then you fold two back. And then that one goes there. G-Man, do you want to come oh, join the us? Guys, this is this? taking immense I, concentration. You said you, you needed a bit of support. Um, I, can, I can give you emotional support. You're doing great, buddy. It Thank you. It looks lovely. It's Thank great you. structure. Um, it's kind of like a plait. Hey. I know. You've got a... Did you come into this knowing what to do, or are you, are you reverse no engineering I'm it reverse now as engineering. you go back? But it's looking good. I think your, your brain is figuring it out. Yeah, oh, this, this is, you know, the best thing when it comes to these things is just, just, just do it, I suppose. Just throw yourself in. Zoe, what technique are you using beyond so, breaking all of your... They keep... Your <laughs> I'm a little on the rough side <laughs> here, but um, I like I the it? idea I of right. folding it back. So... What I'm doing right now is I've folded these two back, so now I'm going to fold 
the three that I haven't touched yet back. So it's just like and alternating. And then one last cross layer and you've got it down. So this is a great, I mean, if you're gonna do this with your kids, patience and restraint, I think are gonna <laughs> be and absolutely also, like, what required. what a great activity to concentrate It's with. kind of like Sudoku, hey, like a baking Sudoku. To yeah. Try and figure out exactly how and what and where. What goes where? And how satisfying when you get to see the end result when this puff pastry puffs up and you get that beautiful cover to a beautiful tart. Und did I get it? You I did. That's about as close as any one of us will ever get, brother. <laughs> eh? Don't <me> apply. <laughs> Don't laugh. I mean, I know our, our standards aren't particularly higher, but I think you what did you absolutely about? brilliantly with that. I think Zoe's look much better, though. Put them side by side. I think they look the same. And who needs all the dough? You don't have to use all the dough. Just throw the rest They look the way. same. We did, we did well. Eh? I think we did pretty well. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. We, we well. have to... Wait, 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 wait. Hang and on. then you just simply brush it. We have it. to... Uh, just give it a little bit of a... I think this was intended as a challenge and now we're cooperating. But this I is know. Let me the help spirit you of baking in our kitchen is all about <laughs> collaboration, all right? Oh, look at that. I know, we, we are helping oh, each wait. other. This yeah. is nice. This is teamwork. Okay. One more thing. Okay, well, that wasn't that difficult. No. I mean, oh, oh, look at that. It's the oh. baby asses oh. coming in. There we in. go. Well done. You guys did a fantastic <laughs> job. Fantastic Thank job. You. Okay. That's amazing for teaching you great hacks in the kitchen. I love that. I've never in my life even thought about doing something like that. You both would have survived in the 1800s. Yeah. Okay, That's so, really uh, you know, it's got to come down to, we, we got to vote. Um, which one did it better? You're allowed to vote for both. Yeah, so, so <laughs> let's, let's start with mine. Can we hear it for my lattice hack, everyone? Three, two, one, go. Yay! Oh. Can we hear it for Zoe's lattice hack? Yay! We'll give it to the Lattice Hack Queen well this done, morning. Guys. Well done, cool. Zoe. So there you have it. Now you have a bit of a taste as to how to do it if you've never done it before. Try it out and, you know, really spice up things in the kitchen, I yeah. think, to make things look pretty. It's mm. Easter around the corner. And if you've got a hack better than this, please teach us how. Put it on TikTok and make sure that you include our handle as well. And, hey, we might just bring you on the show to do it. Well done. I think you both did this teamwork. This was works. good teamwork. Makes the dream work. work. Well done. Thank Nicely you. done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Join the bank that's best for your loan. Choose up to 200 Rand cash back monthly with a personal loan. Apply for a personal loan and a savvy account today. Netbank. See money differently.
Are you a rising star in the kitchen, ready to bake it till you make it? Then enter the new season of Tastemaster SA, brought to you by tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder on SABC2, where you could win 50,000 rands worth of prizes and become a baking legend. Visit the tastemaster.co.za. Share a video about yourself and why you love baking with Royal Baking Powder. Entries close on 23 April. T's and C's apply. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express, right here on SABC3. What a Thursday morning. It's been a ton of fun. But now it is time for the final lap. We're still chatting to our performer, Rens, this morning. Now, as an actor and musician, besides the EP, um, it's, you know, there's so much happening in your life. You're also joined yeah. by Ethan this morning. And yes. collectively, you are Authentic City. Yes. yes. All Absolutely. right. Talk to me about the two of you. Parts crossed because apparently you guys know each other for quite a while. Already. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a 10 year journey yeah. um, of friendship and, and music and songwriting. <laughs> I, can, I can see it. Um, <laughs> and then this guy just. Uh, so I, I yeah. met Renz in, in our music class. Uh, he was very emotional that day. Wow. And he oh, came really? into class and he wrote a very emotional song. And I was like, I think I need to help this guy. Like, it feels like I need to be. And then we just became friends, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we all need somebody to lean on. <laughs> so what, what was going through your life at that stage? Oh, what was going yeah. on? Um, you know, at that time, there was uh, just a lot of um, no DMs. It wasn't DMs weren't invented, so it was nothing happening. But I mean, at that time, it also, on a serious note, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a serious note, I think that time, I was just taking a lot of inspiration from my upbringing um, and those things around me, so the people around me. And, and having to leave home, being from Durban, having to leave home and cross over into, into Cape Town, I think that distance kind of allows for a vacuum in your life. And mm -hmm. I use that as motivation to write some of the songs we've come up together yeah. today. And one of those is, that we're performing today is called Searching. You know, always searching for a brighter day, searching mm -hmm. for a greater, a greater future. I love that. No, yeah. we're going to end off the show with that. I mean, what is it like for you guys? What does it mean to be able to, to work in this industry who we know is notoriously a tough industry to yeah. be in? I mean, stepping into this industry as friends, I mean, with regards to the support, how do you find it? Mm. Well, I think it's, it's important to have people around you that keep yeah. you accountable. Um, number one, I think that keeps everyone on the right track. Accountability is key, especially in, in, in this day and age. Um, Ethan's been my accountability partner for a while. And um, yeah, I mean, even stories we tell from our real life experiences. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, think, I think my take is different. To Eli, he's all about the music. It's always been about the music <laughs> for him. For me, it's about the, the friends that we made along the way. So we've met so many awesome people. You get to collaborate with them. Yeah. And just now we have a community of people, you know? And that's been the biggest thing for me, yeah. aside from the music, is we're friends, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and yeah. You, you know, you do rely on each other for support. Like yeah. I said, I mean, this is tough, you know? You, you're going to knock your head at certain stages, you know, trying to open those doors. And yeah. it's nice to have that soundboard in each other, yeah. yes. you know, to focus on that. We can't wait for that song. Stick around with us. Thank you very much, Jens, for joining us nice and early Thank on this you. Thursday. Yeah. We're going to be back with the last performance from Renz this morning. Ah, we all love standing around a fire, getting together with our loved ones, and Woolies is making entertaining so much easier with their oven-ready, hassle-free, and flop-proof roasts. We have proven that they are flop-proof. Chef Clem is here to show us how mm -hmm. sublime a Greek-inspired lamb gyro can be, made from start to finish, with our favorite South African braai flame this Easter, I'm, this is amazing, bro. This is amazing. Giro's are my favorite. Like, it's a shawarma, basically. Is there a difference? How would you describe Sometimes it? Sometimes the seasoning, but essentially, nah. It's a good meat wrapped in a pizza with bucket loads of flavor. And you've got to do it sides. justice. Yeah. And all yeah, exactly. of the sides, exactly. Uh, and if you call it a, a gyro, a gyro, uh, 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 whatever you call it. A it does a... That's a gyro. Whoa, okay. easy. <laughs> Notice the butter melting. The heat it, isn't even on. It was those hips. It's getting hotter hey. again. The, okay. the key thing here, I'm guessing, is the quality of the meat. Always. You start with the best. That's 95% of the job right there. Done. Start with the best quality. And we actually did the best quality. You're going to be working with our beautiful lamb. OK. And do you want to do the brine? I will do the brine, okay. my brother. People, come over here. I'm going to put you on to like my new favorite toy. This is the Everdeer cube. The By Everdeer none other cube. than Heston Blumenthal oh, himself. Okay, obviously from Woolies. This is how you combat load shedding. It goes, the, the, once you build up heat in here, it stays hot for Forever. ages. Wow. And we're cooking directly on, on this wooden surface. Yeah. You can actually put your hand on the sides. There's Super a bit of a divide. Safe. 
So you can just, you can handle it and you feel safe. So adults, kids, you're all good. So G, I've got for you, I've got the beautiful easy to cook lamb. It's already been trussed for you and marinated all the seasonings we'll inside the there. the leg of lamb. There we go. I love that. So it's been marinated, so all the flavors really gotten into the meat. All you have to do is a whop, whop, Oven, yes, okay. sure. Pan, yes, but braai, of course, absolutely. So what's the vibe here? I'm taking it out. You're gonna snip the bag open, snip the twine that's on there. Okay. Okay. Then fan it out over your Evidia. Okay. okay. You Are got you wanting that. fat up, fat down? Does it make a difference at this point? Let's go fat down, just for the for the, the for rendering. The, for the, the rendering. Cool. And you have got some butter. I'm gonna make a herb butter to like base the lamb with Ooh. for the sandwich. So once the butter like starts the melting, that. I'm gonna hit it with some parsley, some mint, a little bit of coriander, bring all those flavors together. Let's talk about the bread we're gonna make. And these are homemade little flat breads. It's, that's your canvas oh, where all the flavors look just at, like. Buddy, look at the fat. That's the one. Gee, Ooh, yes. Wee. Okay. So super simple. Once you get that down on the braai. I'm gonna slip in. There we go. I'm coming to the side over here. We're gonna make a very, very easy flat bread. We're gonna go in with some flour, and then this is a bread that's leavened with yeast. So what I like doing is I like doing a slow ferment. I actually make the dough the day before. Okay. Pop it in the fridge. Let it do its thing there. We're gonna go with the yeast, and I just need one sachet. It's not a sachet. A sachet. It's not Come a sachet. On. It's a sachet. A sachet for your gyro. There Come we go. Come on. Uh, why? Why? The, I know we've kind of gone through this about a million times on the show, but why do we want the dough to prove? Why do we want to do it the day before? What does it gain out of that process, having a bit of time? So you could do a quick proof, which is on the same day, and let it re like rest and rise for 40 minutes, okay? What happens during that time is the yeast uh, distributes throughout the dough, gives it body, and also flavor. It aids with that fermentation yeah. process, right? So that's why, you want to, that's why you want to prove it. If you wanted to skip this process, I wanted to make it really quickly, use self-raising flour is a different raising agent, agent in there. Okay, it's a slightly different flavor profile, but how nice is it that you can offer someone their own hero with bread that you've made yourself? That with bread that you've made that's yourself. Special. I feel like that's almost like, it's, it's really like, that, that's from the heart, it really is. So you're gonna make your dough, let it rest, roll it out a little bit, pop this next to it, share, share, share the space, oh, share the space, the as well. share the space, there we go. Oh. We will bring that together in a second. Um, life lesson, just like bread, mm -hmm. Dough needs to rest so it can rise. It needs to chill, yo. You need to be like dough. You need to sometimes, you need to just rest. There's no rest so, for dads. So you can rise. Okay, no rest back to for work, dads. Back to Okay, work, what's back next, to work. what's next? Butter's looking good. Once, once the butter starts melting, I'm gonna ask my friend G over here to yep. start shredding the herbs into this butter. You don't wanna cut it, you wanna have you some texture. You wanna rip it up and, sh and shred it. That's the way, so texture. And just breaking it in, hey? What do you wanna do? Uh, that's oh, how you keep the flavor. Oh, so, okay. I've got a beautiful flat bread that's come off the braai. I've got the lamb, oh, very important. It's your lamb before you slice it, okay? Because And you can smell, you release the, the oils in these herbs, eh? Just by bruising them and breaking them up. It's amazing how much more is being released from this coriander that's... That's your favorite. <laughs> so, cucumber goes down. I've got some go. of this beautiful lamb that we've rested and, and cut up. And mint in there as well, eh? Yes, yes, oh, yes. baby. Lamb goes down. That's special. You want to make this like... Really, normally we say don't overfull. Yeah. Full. Overfull. overfull. Do it. It, make, it makes it more exciting to actually eat. We've got some pink onion petals from Woolies, of course. Gonna give These us are a great. Young mix around there. These add flavor to absolutely everything. We're going to serve it with sweet potato little discs on the side, which we also did on the braai, nice and smoky. Oh, nice. Finishing it with little tzatziki. I mean, this is really nutritious. As much as, yes, there is a little bit of carb content there, absolutely beautiful nutrient value in the sweet potato, but this is beautiful. You've got your protein. Uh -huh. you got your How protein. wonderful is you that You've got smelling? your veggies. You've got this beautiful butter that G has made for us. Oh, Drizzle that over goodness. everything. You can even get some of those herbs on there, but right now all I want is that butter for the flavor. G, this is how you take on the easy to cook range. You can see the selection that we have. This is how you celebrate this Easter season. It's bougie, it's a shawarma, but it's bougie. And it is absolutely beautiful thanks to the quality of the meat. And you can save on all your Easter faves from today up until the 2nd of April. And there is a new deal every single day. So make sure you keep your eye out and don't miss out. So today being the 30th of March, Rewards, W Rewards members save 25% when buying any two pickled fish. A lot of people just looked up. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the 31st of March, our W Rewards members save 25% when buying any three.
hot cross buns. And then on the 1st of April, our rewards members, they save 25% when buying any two easy to cook roasts. Then on Sunday the 2nd, your W rewards members save 25% when buying any two items from the Chuckles range, because we had to include the Chuckles. Absolutely awesome. And you know, you can shop it all in store, online, or on the app. And if you um, need it in a hurry, what do you gotta do? Dash it. Dash it, baby. Absolutely beautiful. Easter saw today. It is. Wow. So beautiful. Oh, I smell it. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso right here on S3. What a Thursday morning. It's been absolutely phenomenal. We are back with our performer of the day, Renz, joined by Ethan, and collectively they are known as Authentic City. Jens, lovely to have you, man. Love it. Can't wait for you to play out the rest of the show for us. I want to ask you, though, Authentic City. Yeah. What is it collectively? What is the sound? How they come about? What does it mean? Yeah. Cool. So, um, Ethan, I'll let you explain it this. Yeah, because you, you <laughs> love to talk about this. Um, <laughs> I, I think the idea of being authentic, um, just real people, that's what connected us in the first place. So, uh, 
the, the entire collective just got together. Just a bunch of normal people making music that we love. Yeah. And that's where the authentic kind of birth from. Just we just want to make yeah. music that's real. And yeah. an authenticity lands yes. with people out there. Yeah. When exactly. You do just a quick one. Uh, the year is still young. What lies ahead? Where are people going to see you? What's the plans? So we're looking for some live shows um, this year. Also releasing more music mm -hmm. from authenticity, but also my EP is coming out in that's April. And that's the big one. Uh, uh, that's the big one that I'm pushing. As well as we've got Easter coming up. So we might be doing some performances around okay. the Easter program, but tune into our socials and let's see what it, make it do what it does. So do what it <laughs> Let it do what it does. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, here we go. Searching. That is a song by yeah. Authentic City with Rens and Ethan this morning. Stick around. Thank you. choices never tasted so good, nor were they ever so easy as the range of healthy living options. Made with love by Clover. Uh, never.